They're only Ugh. at the pirates level. Pfft. Up your game, guys. Scrubs. <laughs> Lazy fucks. Yeah, I didn't see. Did you? I didn't see Donald there, but that did look like pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Gonna revive. Ah, there we go. Bah. No. Oh no, but still TFI. So no. Ah fuck. Ah fuck. Oh wait. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's, okay. that should be us. I'm seeing our comments. My boys. Hey, Jamel. <laughs> We're here. We have arrived. Yes. Yes. No. I'm no. Do it. I'm getting to oh, it. Oh, yes. So I tried to type in senpai and autocorrect changed it to semi-automatic, so I really don't know what's going on with this. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sephi. Oh, really? Oh, my oh, yeah, boy. Right Thank God you left yesterday. <laughs> Fuck. It's true. <laughs> uh, Carrie reminds me I saw this. Oh, boy. Should... Oh, so right, Sephi, Sephi gives you bits. Yeah. Hello, my boys. I'm glad that I have tonight's events to hopefully make me feel better. Oh, no, you're going to feel terrible. Everything oh. we got planned is fucking awful. I found out about 30 minutes ago um, that with no prior notice, my D&D group kicked me out of our Roll20 game and our Discord server because they were mad at me. But seeing, but seething rage aside, let's try to enjoy ourselves tonight. Oh man, they sound what like dicks. Also, what That's happened to our absolute stream? Absolute bullshit. Is it? We're hosting Team Four Star again. Why did it do that? I mean, apparently they they they're like they can still hear us and shit. So oh, so maybe yeah. See, we're fine. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Why did? Weird. Okay. Ah. Oh. Um. So oh, okay. right, and I need to That's turn us. Bullshit. Especially for tonight of all nights, because, um, well, we've got this game, which I'm not sure if you've heard of, and we've got the next Twilight movie for Discord Hang. So you're going to be upset. Yeah. We're going to be upset. So maybe you can be happy at our misery. <laughs> That's the intent of today. <laughs> also, Buddy VA is joining us from exotic Seattle. <laughs> oh. What? what? All right, I can't then. hear anything. Hello? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Apparently, he can't hear anything. Why can't you hear anything, buddy? Well, I can barely hear y'all, y'all. It's because I turned on the compressor for OBS, so I need to turn down the regular volume. This is why it took us, like, 20 minutes to start. There's so much ah. going on. Awful. You're it's awful. It's the worst. Yes. Plus some stuff with... Bando Namco, or Namco Bandai. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Rare. It's just right. so quiet. Rare. You're so quiet. Just turn us up, buddy. Got off. Oh, just turn you up. Okay. Hey, Jermel's on the ball. <laughs> Is this a dragon visual novel? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? I mean, what are you the mean? very suggestion. <laughs> Ridiculous. Easy. Yep. You're sharing your wrong screen. Uh, That's amazing. God damn it, one sec. I was gonna say the volume <laughs> on the game is great. I'm just looking at fucking oh. Twitch or whatever. Streamlabs. Ah, uh, one sec. Izzy's on it. <gasps> Teleporters. Oh, something's up in this game. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh no, people are killing dragons. Oh no. Oh, oh lord. Oh jeez. Oh, we shouldn't go down there. Do, oh, uh, this is a shadowy dark figure. Uh, do application window. Oh my god. Application window? Uh, let's see oh, here. A table like, of to the oh. That way I can get in the audio as well. Remy. Oh, I like Remy. Oh. Higher self. Premonition. ID. There. Oh, oh my god. Solar power? I don't... I'm... Anna. Oh, what a cutie. No idea. Bryce! Well, I mean, I feel like he, he's got a cop badge. Oh we my gotta god, go after Bryce. Bryce is a cop. Oh, this, there was one called Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> we got two bits from Thundershark, and Kevin. we got 50 bits from Kaze that just says, Oh yeah! I mean, I don't have a dragon fetish. Shut up, Carrie. 
I think we all do. <laughs> I think we and would all make out with the dragon if we were allowed to. Explosive Melon has subscri resubscribed for eight months with the message, Howdy, y'all. Love what you do. Keep doing it. Aww. Aww. Thank no! you. Oh, I know. I'm trying not to hit the mic. I'm trying to put it here and not hit it ever again. There we go. Okay. Dragon Cop P.I. <laughs> I'm about that boy. Okay. Oh, turn down the game volume on Discord? Buddy, I'm getting real mm -hmm. tired of your shit. I'm d mm. Is he? Yeah. Just go back go back to the screen share options. Okay. <laughs> it was just, right there. It was right there. Oh, yeah, screen. Just No, close that. Uh, cancel that. Cancel all that. Why? Just cancel it. The, the volume menu it's popped like up. Definitely Click on it. Definitely on loud and I can't turn your game volume down on it's my right end. <laughs> okay. How's that? Uh, still, uh, could be a little quieter. It's at five percent. Okay, that's How's fine. This? Okay. Ninety-five percent of the volume's gone. Oh, it's good. Your Majesty. Yo, the buddy. fact, the fact <laughs> that five percent of the quietest music possible, and you're like, it's deafening. <laughs> yeah, fucking Discord likes to amplify volume, apparently. <laughs> Fucking games always seem way too goddamn loud. Oh shit, we got a subscriber! Yeah, for the third month. Oh, the Apprentice Four Seven Two. Thank you so boy. much. No, not for the third month. They've just yeah. subscribed for. Uh, yeah, for three months. Oh, for three months. Which yeah. oh, which Re no, it's resubscribe for three months. No, it, yeah. it says subscribe, not resubscribe. No, it says resubscribe. Re it says resubscribe. Oh, re okay. Sorry, I was reading the chat thing. And then Ben just did it for nine months. Oh my Fuckin god. Fucking hell. Man. Oh. You did it. You got through your Twitch pregnancy. Now you can have a Twitch baby. Ben Why does it say resubscribe there, but subscribe down here? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, who's to say? I just thought he bought like a yeah. three month subscription, in, like what? one package or something. Good, good boys. Yeah. Let's see, we need to go to the editor for a second. Nom nom. Nom nom nom. Apple nom nom. I'm eating carrots. Nom nom nom. I'm eating an apple. Good for you. Good. Mm -hmm. We're both so healthy. Oh, it's Chaos great. just subscribed at tier one. They've 18 months, my boy. Currently on an 18 month streak. Woot woot. Good God. God damn. Mm -hmm. Psychopaths. We love you, Chaos. Mm -hmm. You're insane. So anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Not entirely sure what we're about to get into, but. We're either. We saw it on Steam, like, I believe it's still at overwhelmingly positive reviews. It and is. all of the reviews that I was looking at were basically some version of, okay, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> I bought it to meme on it. I made it, I made it to, I got, I bought it to make fun of it, I swear. This game changed my life, though. Yeah, every, <laughs> we're, we read the first good review and we're like, okay, Clearly, this person is memeing on us, and then every review was no, 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 no. Trust, trust that first guy. These, these aren't memes. We're not. We're not. This isn't a funny game. This is, this is, this is good. Go for it. It was like, okay. <laughs> oh, Shikamaru Tak gave us 100 bits and said hello from the UK. Love you all. P.S. When Karoka no basket. We don't do that. Ask Eagle. Yeah, you. bug Eagle for that. Yeah, man. Also, mm -hmm. Tiny Neko Lolly uh, subscribed. For six months. Yep, and Crimson Thank Wolf eighty six resubscribe for the fifth month, my boy. God damn, cool. God damn. Y'all are crazy. And then we got a bunch of followers. Look at you, beautiful followers. Aww. You're such good boys. Okay, let's try to fuck some dragons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's what this game will be. Oh sure, when I say dragon fucking, you're all like it's dragon loving. It's because you're a male. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> God Selfie damn it. Male. God damn internet. <laughs> User profile not found. Name. Oh, oh shit. Okay, oh. okay guys, what, what's okay. your name? What's what your is name? name? Budet. No. No, 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 no more no, Budet. No. <laughs> I'd be about that though. No. Also, are we a dude or a chick? Hmm. Okay, so gender non-specific name. Can we like oh, mash up all of our names and chaos just gave stupid. us fifty bits? Let's call ourselves chaos. Or fifty dollars, sorry. Let's call ourselves fucking chaos. Have a donation instead of a sub bomb. Thank oh, you, chaos. You ridiculous bitch. D wagon. Call D ourselves. <laughs> Beatrice. Wait, wait. Here's Don't a pitch. Me. Yes. Remember all of those like fucking uh, screenshots where people make their Legend of Zelda name my dude. Damn it, Commander. Yeah. 
What my do you dude. think that would work in this game? Let's be my dude. Yeah. My dude. Mm -hmm. Hey, my boy. Apprentice literally no, 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 just... My boy. My boy. My boy. My boy. <laughs> my boy. Yes, but look, so Apprentice literally just suggested call him my dude. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> and good demon, or, or good, good demon. It's good moon. Oh, but I kept seeing a second D for some reason. Yeah. Good moon gave us 200 bits. Good luck not crying. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. You know something we don't. Choose a color. <gasps> Are we dragons also? Let's be a red dragon. You're badass. Mm. Um, I, I think it's just the, the color of our name. Oh. Show my colors. Uh, what do we got? <gasps> Magenta! <gasps> mm. huh. Lime, though. But cyan. Mm. Cyan. So I'm kind of leaning towards cyan. Could show more colors, though. Yeah. What, what other colors you got? Yeah. Now we're into the rugged metallic dragons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keep going. Oh my keep going. god. Keep going. <gasps> Straight up purple. Maroon! Teal! Fucking teal! Oh! It's all dark teal, though. Teal. Mm. Like cyan, bitch. Mm. Yeah. I'm about cyan. But teal, though. I'm down for cyan. I like teal and cyan, but cyan's brighter. Mm -hmm. Try that. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Chicken Mario Tech gave us 90 bets and said, okay, no worries. You guys have fun and Izzy, we know you. We know you. We why, know why you yeah. got this. I was like, what? I approve. We know why. Right. We know why you got this. Okay, I, I was like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, there's a uh, one, an extra you in there that shouldn't be. Congregate gave us fifty bits. Uh, are you going to do soup can this month? Hopefully. Uh, hopefully next week. We're looking to do it next week. Yeah. Well, actually, it's it's uh, there's some capitalization, so it's are you going to do soup can this month? Alright. <laughs> gonna be like that. It's possible. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully next Friday. Look at how beautiful our name looks. My boy! My boy! boy. All right. Yes. This one's right. <clears throat> Profile confirmed. We're doing it. Before we start, please review the following information. Uh-oh. Let's see. Okay. Left click or enter to advance text, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Press space to advance text only. This mm. is useful to avoid making a selection by mistake. Mm, okay. Stick with your space bar, my boy. Da, da, da. Escape, right click brings up the menu. Toggle full yeah. screen. Mouse wheel to review past messages. Cool, cool. Control or press tab to skip scene messages. Extra screenshot, you know, for when we're fucking the dragon. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That will be all. Okay. That uh, would be all. Oh, well, <laughs> Deranged Deceiver says, as a scaly, I approve of your game choice. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Here is 20XA. Wait, is this a Mega Man spinoff? Don't worry about it. <laughs> 20 double X. Who is he? <laughs> Our only recently has humanity discovered a portal that leads into a different world. Holy populated shit. Populated with a race of intelligent talking dragons. Ah. I was one of the few to travel to this world. But maybe I should start at the beginning. This is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> this is my wife. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> store seems a bit loud on our end. Mm -hmm. uh, a loud fucking game, man. It all began. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we discovered a strange yeah. device in the middle of nowhere after a one of our mm -hmm. expeditions. A portal. <laughs> My God. No, oh, that was just there. That seems like that seems pretty hard to miss. Yeah, man. I had heard about similar technology before. Though that had been more of an experiment on an experimental level. From what I knew, other portals had been created in the past and were under consideration for mass application. As for this one in particular, though, we did not know who had built it, nor when, or why we had found it in the wilderness where we did. What was more exciting to us was the fact that it was functional. How did no one find it? Like, That's was bullshit. it? It seems to be in the middle of a barren landscape. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I had like stealth technology, and then the battery on the stealth technology ran out. Oh, Sapphire so gave us a hundo bit. This was an interesting choice. <laughs> I guess we're fucking dragons tonight. And quite frankly, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> we're all gonna go on this adventure together. Yeah, we're we're all gonna learn something about ourselves. I think. Buckle up, my boys. <laughs> After our first tests, we found there was something else on the other side, or someone else on the other side, oh, who was in possession of a similar portal. 
and our attempts at communication through letters were successful. <laughs> but in the end, the machine's extraordinary demand for power meant we needed to act quickly, as we wouldn't be able to keep the portal open much longer. I really wish that they, like, weren't English-speaking dragons, so they just heard, like, Roar! like, through this portal. <laughs> Monsters! Oh, yeah, yeah. Kill them! When we made this known to the other side, we received a very unexpected reply. Mm. A letter of invitation. Mm. After some deliberation, it was decided to accept their hospitality and send a person to the other side. <laughs> they're like, they're so, probably dragons. Go, Jeff. <laughs> this could be your only chance to fuck one. Go, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like, I don't know what you guys are saying. Uh, Jeff, we all know about the fur affinity account. <laughs> There was an individual who took the job. <laughs> <laughs> Don't act like I'm the only one. Yeah, Y'all yeah. are cowards. <laughs> I'll get it in there. There was an individual who took the job almost immediately for non-suspicious reasons. Was it us? Did we do it? It was my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought it was us. What? Why? Why? is Kier... Kierdo. I'm not dealing with that name, okay? Why, why did we... Fucking your name is Rick. Your name is Rick now. Rick the human. I knew him. Or rather, had known him. Oh, they clogged. We attended the same <laughs> school back then. Where we fucked. Just, it suddenly cuts from this black to another black and white photo of him in a fursuit. <laughs> Dressed as a dragon. And no one knew why he accepted the, the mission. <laughs> and even had a few classes together. We never really... We never really were very close friends, mm. but we talked to each other occasionally and hung around with the same crowd sometimes. Mm. However, we still went our separate ways in the end. But worked at the same place or whatever. Our relationship was weird. <laughs> I mm. wasn't sure what to think about the whole thing, but he had to have known what he was doing. He certainly was brave. And or horny. God, he wanted to bang those dragons. <laughs> <laughs> And who was I to stop him? Yeah. None of us could physically stop him. <laughs> he was he very was, strong. He was on a rampage. He wanted it real bad. He was the fur. He was the fur community's equivalent of the Hulk. The hornier he got, the stronger he became. Dear apparently, God. apparently, it's a scaly. Yeah, yeah, you are. Either, either that, I or just very, very yeah. foolish. Yeah. I thought scaly was just like a another kind of furry. I thought it was like. Is it not the same thing? Well, I have I mean, no idea, yeah, but we're I, talking yeah. about dragons. So. I was going to say, I don't know anything about the community, nor <laughs> would I pretend to know. But I would assume because dragons don't have any sort of fur, that they, if someone was attracted to them, they wouldn't be classed as a furry. Huh. You know? Okay. Anyway. While I wasn't sure of which, his, <laughs> current was, his courage was applauded by the others, sure. mostly out of fear at his bonus rank. <laughs> It was just fucking six to midnight as soon as he heard the word dragons. <laughs> he was like, I'm fucking, I'm going, I volunteer. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> After all, he couldn't possibly have known who or what would await him at the other end of the portal. And if he did meet someone there, who knew what kind of intentions they may have? Not that any speculation <laughs> on our part would make any difference. <laughs> You're gonna go try to fuck that dragon, aren't you, Rick? Oh, fucking. Okay, I, I'm not. I don't think Buddy can join us on this stream. Buddy. Yeah. Buddy. I'm here. Okay. Your noise gate's fucking up, so I'm getting like every second word. We're okay, to let me let me try and lower it. <laughs> Does it sound better now, Buddy? Hello. Goddamn nuisance. Well, time will tell. If you stop us from fucking these dragons, buddy. Swear to Jeebus. <laughs> All right. When the day finally came, through he went, with applause echoing across the area, equipped only with the clothes he wore, his multi-tool, a gun, and an assortment <laughs> of dragon-shaped dildos that we chose not to ask questions about. And a device on his wrist that acted as a PDA, but he was really excited about the dildos. Sapphire gave us a hundo bits and said, I've read enough fan fiction to know that the portal doesn't and will not matter. It's just an excuse to get us to the point uh, W here. Or where? Where, yeah, I'm guessing. 
uh, where uh, we can we can fuck dragons. No lore, just a gateway to dragon dick. <laughs> I mean, let's not lie. Yeah. Then we waited. The crowd that was applauding him slowly dispersed when the enthusiasm died out, Shit. and there was nothing for us to do but wait and speculate. Oh my God. Approximately eight hours later, we received our first message from him. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just like smoking a cigarette. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate this. I can die happy now. I have been fucked by a dragon. Apparently, he was engaged to a large dragon named Sky Striker, and he was never coming back. <laughs> They had four beautiful children together. Time moves differently in the dragon world. <laughs> Dear God. While we had assumed the portal led to another, oh to another in a different country, or maybe on a different continent, the reality turned out to be much more foreign. Wait, are they trying to claim that they didn't know that dragons were on the other side? I guess not. Weird. Okay. Also, Carissa gave yeah. us 25 bucks and said, whoa, 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 what it do, you beautiful bitches? Aww. Hell yeah. What it do. Whoa, 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 what it what do. What a nice person. I love you. The situation he described to us was so outlandish that we initially <laughs> took it as a joke. You know what? Maybe we yeah. weren't far off. Yeah, we're not far off. <laughs> <laughs> He's completely in love with this dragon. A very bad joke, maybe, oh. with even worse timing and no punchline at all. Just graphic depictions of dragon sex. He's just drawn a bunch of shit. He's <laughs> quite the artist. Mm. It's quite impressive, actually. Mm. Soon became clear to us, though, that we may just have made one of the most important discoveries since the dawn of mankind. Okay, dude. <laughs> Finding the portal had been remarkable in itself. But this took it to a completely different level. I'm sorry, I'm still trying to work out the idea they didn't know this was going to another dimension, because it's like, yeah. we're in, uh, you know, Canada or America. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. We're in blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's not a country on yeah. Earth. It's like, what were they talking about in these initial letters that they didn't know? <laughs> like, what did they say? That seems like the like one of the first things you were like, hey, our portal is here. Yeah. Where's yours? Yeah. It's fair. <laughs> they must have had a very specific conversation to have that not come up mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. You're right. From what he described about the place, or more, accurate, more right. accurately, yeah. its inhabitants, we surmised it could not be a part of Earth at all. What? Far too many dragons, <laughs> you see. Dragons are real, y'all. Winter is coming. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit. We called them. Dragons, <laughs> because according to Reza, they were dragons. <laughs> Even though we found it hard to believe, it had been these dragons who sent us all the letters. With their cute little claws and clutching at pens and shit. Oh, it was adorable. Oh, the very image was enough to warm the cockles of your heart. <laughs> And what Reza oh, found cock. on the also other... Also your cock. Oh, yeah, yes, of course, yes, of course, the cock. <laughs> the cockles of your heart and the heart of your cock. Yeah! The cockles of my Here cock. Here we go. And what Reza found on the other side of the portal was a whole civilization of them. They fucking ate them. <laughs> they could talk, write books, fuck, had buildings, <laughs> electricity, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> In many ways, their society was actually very similar to her own. In fuck, period. In many ways. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. So, who were they? And where was this place? Could they be aliens? All right. Weird stretch there, Rick, but okay. Our speculations led us to conclude otherwise. After all, we knew about the existence of thousands of planets, millions of light years away, that may have been theoretically inhabitable. Yet Little even, habitable. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, theoretically habitable. Yeah. Yet even then, we had never found conclusive proof in regard to actual alien life forms. Oh. Some people brought up quantum mechanics Jesus and parallel universes. <laughs> 
But I told them, fuck off. Give me that good, good dragon dick. I don't care what the explanation is. Just put it in me. <laughs> but in the oh. end, all of this was just conjecture and will ultimately have no bearing on the plot. An ultimately fruitless endeavor, mm -hmm. since we neither had the means nor the resources to explore these possibilities in greater detail. Mm -hmm. I think there's just one more thing worth mentioning before I move on. Only one more, okay. The dicks were amazing. Like, oh my god, you guys. Like, horrifyingly huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The previous As if isolation. I haven't said this enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, I just cannot reiterate enough how good that dick was. <laughs> this, is the, this is the place where Darius comes from. Oh, yay! Oh. Well, now I do want to smooch him a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, god damn it. The previous isolation had been mutual. Oh. They hadn't known about any other intelligent life form beyond their own. Their portal had only recently been discovered and was a technology previously unknown to them. And just as we had myths about dragons, they had myths about us. We were very, very boring <laughs> myths. Just, yeah, their myths were just like, and then these these tiny creatures in in covered in steel with weapons stab you in the heart because you're just minding your business, keeping you know tracking Being your treasure. Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> we call them man. <laughs> that was what we knew about them so far. And as interesting as learning those things and debating their cultural significance oh was, oh was I really didn't care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we really didn't know what we should make of it all. Oh. Reza apparently was sure he was Rick. what. <laughs> yes, Rick <laughs> apparently was sure of what he was doing, though, as he eventually let us know that they had agreed on a trade. That he would what? stay there forever and they would let more people come in. <laughs> It's a bit of a one-sided trade, granted. Mm -hmm. But who are we to argue with love? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if their society is basically ours except dragons instead of humans, mm -hmm. what is the dragon equivalent of a scaly? A fleshy? Skinny. <laughs> I thought it was skinny too, buddy. Hey. Yeah. I, I prefer skinny. Fleshy is just like there's something very upsetting about. It. I'm a fleshy. Yeah. Ew. Zachary <laughs> gave us hundo bits. Why would their society be similar to ours? After all, a society of humanoid dragons probably has an origin of magical nature. And, and wait, I think I just started criticizing the logic of a game where you fuck dragons. I'm officially hit rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sapphire, my boy. Just embrace I, the madness. I also like, mm -hmm. I like 00 Sebastian's comment as uh, <laughs> Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid Season 2 looks weird. Hell yeah. Here we fucking go. Oh, it's such a good show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Seasons two win. Uh. Hashtag win season two. Give season two. Hashtag win that dragon dick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got through this entire stream and there isn't even an inkling of dragon dick. I'm gonna be really upset. <laughs> real, real pissed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a visual novel. You probably won't get there within like the first three hours. No! no! If anything, you'll get character introductions. Oh. <laughs> but we can at least decide which dragon dick we want. Yeah. We were to give them a few of our PDA devices, which contained vast amounts of knowledge, dwarfing even that of encyclopedias. In return, they would supply us with generators. They're talking about these PDAs like they're supposed to impress us, the audience. But no. They're fucking cell phones. Yeah, man. I'm gonna be we know what a cell phone is. <laughs> Overall, they didn't seem or they didn't seem as technologically advanced as we had been. But they did surpass <laughs> us in that <clears throat> one aspect. It was their their means of generating energy seemed sustainable. It's fire. I'm sorry now, I've just got the image of a little dragon engineer with like the tiny claw hands trying to like turn a, a like a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fucking unlock a cell phone that's got like fingerprint ID. No. He's like Wah! scraping Wah! the screen. Oh. <laughs> 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 
That's in a visual note. Not only that, but evidently also quite efficient. Mm. We certainly would be able to put technology like that to good use. And trading mere past knowledge of the human race for something more tangible was a good call on his part. Dude, they don't even uh, give all, him, like, good stuff. Also, phones, heart, like, uh, heart Gear paper. 1 donated 500 bits. Yeah, it says oh, here, some bits of my most favorite funny people. Thanks for banishing my depression for a few hours. Aww. Yay. <laughs> Thank Aww. you for the bits. Thank you. Yeah. Hopefully this helps. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Are you saying dragon dick won't help? I mean, dragon dick would help anybody. Okay. Yeah. Dragon dick is a cure-all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like a half hour into this. Yeah. Oh my God. Exactly 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Exactly 30 minutes. It finally says. That was where I came in. All right, this is us. We're doing it. Finally, we have a purpose. Oh, my God, my boy is here. My prior <laughs> experience in both biology and sociology oh. made me a good fit to deliver our PDA devices for the, tri for the trade. Wow, we sound like dicks. <laughs> and while in the dragon's world, waiting for the prototypes of our generators to be manufactured by them, I would act as an ambassador oh. on humanity's behalf. What a prick. What a way to make a first impression by a display of mutual goodwill. Everyone benefits and everyone goes home happy. Oh, shit. Guess that's the end of the game. That's no conflict it. here. All is well. If this was a troll game and it literally was just this. Oh, <laughs> oh excuse long. me. Go on. I paid At $7 least. for this. <laughs> that was the plan. Oh, no. Come on! That was ah! the perfect transition! Despite the images that living, talking dragons might conjure up in some people's minds, I didn't even think of bringing a weapon myself, fucking considering idiot. that they were reportedly friendly and peaceful. I'm a fucking moron. And I really wanted to fuck them like Rick. Rick said they were so good. Like, I needed it. I needed to find out what that kind of fucking pleasure is like. Mm -hmm. There was Stacey no... doesn't please me anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Stacy. I'm calling you out. Just like in fucking with, text. With her mere human vagina. Can't Disgusting. <laughs> 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 Nothing can compare to a dragon penis. Not even the female Nothing. vagina. As opposed to the male vagina. <laughs> there was no need for me to fear potential ill intentions like Rick did when he had stepped into unknown territory. And acting as humanity's ambassador, I had to do my best to uphold a high standard in fostering this diplomatic relationship. You fucking go through a portal with dragons. I'll be right back. Okay. <sighs> When the time came for me to step through the portal, all my mental preparedness vanished. My anxiousness was fueled by all the questions lurking in my head, just as the machine started to do its work. Would it hurt? Oh, <laughs> Would I dream? Yeah. I mean... <laughs> Could I get pregnant? Who <laughs> Would I meet on the other side? If I do get dragons... pregnant, what would our child be? Do dragons have STDs? Mm. Would it be a welcomed by society or killed for being a human dragon fucking hybrid freak? <laughs> we could be a trailblazer for hum human dragon hybrid rights. <laughs> My god. All killed in a horrible, monstrous way. Who would I meet on the other side? What if they really weren't so friendly and just made Rick write those letters <laughs> with the pretense of appearing friendly, yeah. only to lure us into the den of man, man into the monster. den of a oh, man eating? Like we're in the den of man. We're only to, lure, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> only to lure us into the den of man eating monsters with the allure of that sweet, sweet dragon sex. I like the idea that this was his thought going into the portal, realizing uh, he didn't bring the gun. Like, yeah. wait, I just realized a terrible mistake I've made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this what is if they're the wise. worst time for me to be thinking this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and certain doom. With us ending up as nothing more than a tasty afternoon snack. Oh shit, the game crashed! No! What? what? Come on! Really? Are you shitting me, game? Do we have to go through all of that? <laughs> okay, we can skip through a fair bit of it. Oh my god. Uh, we didn't even get past oh the, We didn't even get past the prologue before the game crashed! 
God. Not making yourself look good here, Dragon Porn Game. <laughs> we didn't even make it through the portal. We were just describing the thoughts we as it? we were walking we in. Didn't save it. Oh, All right. Not, there's no auto save. Okay, All right. So we gotta just like space, 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 space through that ship. Call us my boy with the color cyan and move on. Uh, <laughs> the only thing fucked today was the game. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There we go. Okay. Fucking bullshit. Oh. So we know all those. So we can definitely oh, skip. A wild rando Tyler gave us 10 bits and said, this is all the bits I could get, but hey, first time getting to a stream. Oh, my boy. Thank you so much for joining us. What an odd thing for you to begin your something witty streaming days with. Sapphire the Dude gave us 100 bits to yeah. say, I'm going to be honest, at first I had hoped this was the dragon dating sim that Ken yeah, no, Ashcorp well. did yeah. the music for and got excited, but no, uh, that game's still in development hell, so I hope this game's half as good as Ken's music to make up for it. God, I love Ken Ashcorp. Oh! oh okay. Shoot. Okay. <clears throat> That's uh, why it crashed, because it yeah. was changing it. Who would I meet on the other side? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Maybe I should have brought a weapon after all. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I should have brought a weapon after all. Suddenly I felt a shiver coursing through my whole body and beyond when I was dis and beyond when I was disintegrated. Oh, oh shit. shit! Well, I saw darkness and light, painting patterns in the stars as I traveled, and images rapidly flashed before me of things unseen and unspoken, but horrifying and beautiful, both horrifying and beautiful. Oh. It was an experience unlike any other. Yet over in just a split second, I'm gonna say... The poor, poor dragon boys. Oh, it's not letting Why me. isn't it? it? A... Oh, you hit the wrong oh. one. Oh, yeah. Quick save. Cool. cool. Then it was dark. Oh, that dragon had sex with you real, real fast and then left you all alone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, it was apparently over in a split second. One second. No, uh, Solmer... Uh, yeah, Solmer Cellite has resubscribed for four months. Yeah, yeah. Just in time to see the crash due to excessive exposition. <laughs> yep. And Tapau gave us two bits. Oh, thank you, Tapau. Oh, thank you. Then it was dark. I could only see a patch of lighter color contrasting with its dark surroundings as my vision started to clear. Its edges got sharper as the patch of light slowly took shape giving me the distinguished outline of a reptilian head. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. It's the dick. It's the dick. It's the head of the dick. And an array of horns. Oh, gee, that's going to hurt. I it's hope that's not the dick. Time. It's part of the dick. Oh, it's the dick. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I never considered their oh. penises might be horned. Oh, it's the most handsome boy. It's beautiful. Look at him in his little fucking doctor jacket. It was a dragon. Oh, my God. Oh my god, fucking Xanthric would lose his mind in this world. Yeah, it'd be amazing. Dragons, they really do control everything. Dude, he fucking, Xanthric, like, was part of this company and kept his cool so that he could go to this world and kill all of them. He's like, yeah, I'll be the ambassador for, for human sense, whatever. Then as soon as he gets there, Rah! <laughs> Re! Re! And as I could now see, a dragon who not only had a pair of round glasses, but also wore a burgundy tide around its neck. Oh my god! Holy fucking shit, they what? have burgundy technology! Why do they have ties? How do Why they tie Why wouldn't them? they have ties? How would they tie them? <laughs> oh. Okay, so who wants to be Remy? <laughs> I think you should be Remy. Look at him, he looks all smart. But... Oh, but you'd have to be my boy. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so Unless someone yeah. else wants to be my boy. I mean, you should be my boy. Yeah. Okay. In the name of our people, I bid you welcome. If I may introduce myself, I am Remy, your guide and ambassador, a representative of our council. Shoots, Remy. <laughs> the dragon spout! Yes, yes, I, I did. <laughs> it was one thing to have heard and read about this, but something else entirely to have one standing in front of me in flesh and blood. In scale and blood. So much blood and scale and flesh and Wait. blood and bone and You know, and it's horns. very rude to talk about someone while they're there. And they read minds, too! <laughs> and tongue. And tongue. <laughs> it 
was good that all my mental preparedness had disappeared when I was teleported. Because nothing could have prepared me for the raw sexual energy <laughs> coming between us. Between I'm Remy very uncomfortable. And I, and he's like, also, it appears that this teleporter works on Terminator fucking technology, and I was butt naked. <laughs> oh no, what a thing to happen. <laughs> Sorry, I imagine you might still feel the effects of the teleportation. Drowsiness or weakness is not unusual, as is fainting and spontaneous emptying of your bowels, oh, no. bladder, or stomach. How do you feel? Uh, Sapphire gave us a hundo bits and said, Hello, dragon, would you like to do the sex? And Lefrosted Le One gave us ten bits and said, The dragon gods gave you all a, all a final warning with the crash. You didn't need it. Here we go. Or you heated. didn't heed it. Yeah, sorry. So far away. <laughs> Rendered speechless. I had totally forgotten that I was shouldering the burden of representing my people to them as well. Fuck. So much for being professional. But at least he gave me a good excuse for my blunder. And an excuse for why I had shat myself. Thank God. <laughs> he didn't know it was because I saw a dragon. He blamed it on the teleporter. <laughs> yes. I think I'm all right. Wait, so wait, only one person's come through the teleporter. How do they know what the common side effects are? Yeah, maybe fucking Rick was just lying. He's like, maybe oh, God, I shot maybe, myself. It must have been for, the teleporter. For a scientist, Remy doesn't really go with a big enough pool to come to these conclusions. Yeah. He only got Rick to go by. Yeah, when Rick came here, he <laughs> shot himself, pissed himself, and then threw up. <laughs> Just he had all those symptoms at once, and like, oh, I guess that's what all humans go through. It was out of sheer excitement from seeing the dragon. Every orifice of his body exploded at once. He also came. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, <laughs> oh are you now, Remy? <laughs> Maybe we should go before it gets too dark. Come with me, please. Oh, you'll be coming with me. Eh. Hey. Excellent. So I followed the dragon, not straying too far from him, as the sun had already departed for the day, and the remaining light diminished by the minute. Oh. Is it getting hard in here, or is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> it is getting... like, are all of you like this? <laughs> like, none of the dragons are into this. <laughs> It's just all the humans who are incredibly horny. Like, they send through one human who's not a scaly, and all the dragons are like, just to be clear, mm -hmm. we're not going to fuck you. What? No. Why what are, was that? What are you talking about? Why would you assume this means war. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I'm so confused. What? What? What did the other well, researchers like fucking, do? Rick and my boy seemed to be really about it, and we thought it was just a human fascination. Just fucking, they're just like... Yeah. No, they're ah, the weird ones. That's why they wanted to go on the mission. <laughs> like, just, uh, mm, yeah. okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, the third or fourth person's like, I just like Stargate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is oh. getting hard to see where I'm going. Oh, Sapphire the Dew gave us a hundo bits and said, maybe the dragons found the portal's instruction manual. <laughs> Turns out it was in the basement of a library and a locked desk with the words, fuck Dave, carved into it. And no, they haven't figured out who Dave is yet. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just realized instead of my boy, we could have called our character Kurt Russell. Get out of there, Kurt Russell! Kurt Russell! <laughs> oh. Sorry I about that. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> definitely. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that, but we had a good reason to schedule your arrival like this. We did not want you to be ambushed by a crowd, so we had oh. to keep your exact time and date of arrival secret. Mm. Like there wouldn't have been people just camped out there 24-7. <laughs> you right. Thanks. Now I'm back. <gasps> oh, Buddy's back. Buddy, you, you missed look the game at our crashing. first boy. Mm -hmm. His name is Remy. The game's gone. What? Oh, right, because it crashed. It wouldn't have come back. One sec. Oh, fun. <clears throat> that, that. Bat. Make sure to turn down this logical. Yeah, yep. Make yeah. sure the volume's down. It is. Yeah, the game uh, crashed before we went through the portal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But okay. we have our first dragon boy. His name is Remy. I love him. I know. <laughs> Look at his little tie and his glasses. I love his glasses. His glasses are great. <laughs> I hope we can fuck him. Oh, Me God, too. Yes. 
Thanks. I suppose an event like this would make me a celebrity of sorts. God. It would be the same if one of you came to us, or came for us, or came with us. You should come with us. Come on me. <laughs> you just come on Come on my face. <laughs> That's quite an understatement. <laughs> Some people here are rather superstitious. They it might regard you or any of your kind as divine, I suppose. Oh. Please don't read into it that way. Really? <laughs> How so? Oh, God, what have I done? We do have certain myths that involve humans and as such. Oh, I suppose the history lesson will have to wait for another time. Here we are. <gasps> nope, shit. Shimigonga, they subscribe for the What have you done? Month. Oh, what are you God. doing? Here we are. Here we are. There we go. Excellent. <laughs> These apartments seem really small for dragons. Yeah. Mm, don't think about it. By yes, this point, it had gotten so dark that I could barely make out the building before us. I briefly I like wondered the whether dark. they might have like street lights dark. elsewhere, or if they just did not require any due to possible enhanced eyesight or night vision. Mm. I could vaguely see the dragon, his light colors, still visible within the blackness that engulfed the area. Well, Rear up black. and manipulate <laughs> the door handle with one of his forepaws. They didn't design door oh. handles for claws in mind. They just have like regular ass door handles. Yeah, what the fuck? Hinges creaking. The door opened, and with the flick of a switch, the apartment was flooded with light, oh. blinding me after all the time we had spent without it. Oh. The mere flick of his dick. <laughs> this is where you will live for the time being. It is fully stocked, but in case you need anything else, I left you with a note and a few phone numbers. Oh. It is getting rather late, so I will have to take my leave now. In any case, someone will come and meet you tomorrow morning. Could someone come tonight? <laughs> Could that someone be you? My, Undoes I, button. Uh, You're still naked. We're going oh, by, yeah. We're going by Terminator rules. <laughs> right, he's still butt naked. So you're just rubbing your chest instead of undoing he's a button. He's seductively yep. rubbing his nipples. <laughs> 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 yes, buddy, we came to the conclusion that Rick <clears throat> and my boy are super into this, but none of the dragons are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Look, we just want to communicate. Get like, make like a science pact or something. This is for no, science. no, you're on buttoning. Oh no, you... I seem to have dropped something on the ground. Let me just bend over and pick it up. Dear God, are all you humans like this? Oh no, <laughs> I've left my defenseless anus completely exposed and widespread <laughs> for anything to approach. I'll get you some pants you... that will help. Look, could no! you just put that away? Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> Uh, Have you seen our dragon dicks? They're covered in spikes. <laughs> Thank you, Remy. Why would you Have want this? Good night. <laughs> Until we meet again. Remy hates us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's into me. <laughs> <laughs> With a nod, uh, Remy left the apartment, mindful enough to close the door behind himself. Click, clack. <laughs> Yo, right. He's locking you the fuck in. <laughs> <laughs> Surveying the room. I considered the events that had just transpired as my gaze met the window. I could see I could see movement outside, and as I drew nearer, startled, I could hear footsteps in the grass moving away quickly. Assuming it must have been the dragon I just met, I thought nothing of it as I went to bed and slowly succumbed to the sweet allure of sleep overdue. Mm. Is that what I do? Gave you just a uh, hundred bits. <clears throat> I just like to say that I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. You boys in visual novels are always gold. Hey! Oh. I love doing these. Yeah, they're so stupid. I spent a few moments thinking about my role, my mission, and what it meant to be here now. Oh, shit. I felt oh. the responsibility placed on my shoulders. I, I was, was eager, eager for, for the adventure, adventure to come. come. That's the one. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm excited for what I meet the dragon called the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> the adventure. They are saying come way too often. It I makes it love too it. <laughs> come, my dragon. Come, come, my dragon. Be my dragon. 
So Dragon many Dragon. possibilities and prospects raced through my mind. Do they have perhaps have positions we could only dream of? Can they, they fuck in the sky? They have wings. They could fuck in the sky. God. But I don't have wings. What a time. Would they enjoy fucking me as much as I enjoyed <laughs> being fucked by them? <laughs> Truth be told, the thought of being able to meet an entirely new species and put my penis inside of it <laughs> excited me. <Jesus> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you wanted this, buddy. Yep. <laughs> what did he game? Your lewd commentary. <laughs> what did you think this was, buddy? As I was going to be one of the first to truly experience there society with its own little quirks, oh, differences, and similarities. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't help but feel like things. some sort of modern Vasco da Gama or Marco Polo. I should go with Marco Polo. Your More face. people know that one. I really don't like our character. <laughs> Maybe I would even write a book about the whole experience after it's all over. I was sure it would become a hit, all things considered. All right. How many people have fucked dragons? <laughs> 50 scales of gray. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> At any rate, this is gonna be fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Inception. It's the opening of the game. Chapter one. Inception, not conception. Damn. Oh, thank you for the five bits, Kaze 3173. How did Trainer yes. Bad do Marco Polo and slaughtering the knaves when he didn't find gold. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Saffron the dude says, God damn it, Mac. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I awoke from uneasy dreams looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. Just for a moment, I wondered where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. After a good stretch, I looked around the room illuminated by the sunlight coming in from the window. Outside in the saying. distance, mm -hmm. the portal I had emerged from proudly stood on the peak of a small hill. Getting ready, I noticed something lying on the table. It was a note Remy had left for me in case I needed anything. Oh. It contained very graphic imagery of the things that he couldn't tell me in person. He was a shy boy, you see. <laughs> No, no, I did not consent to any of this. But his desires were <laughs> anything out. but this shy. This note is like, fucking, did you leave me this note, Remy? And he's like, no. No, I didn't. You wrote that note. And he's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> this <laughs> looks like your handwriting. How the fuck would you know? <laughs> He's, oh my god, along with his own home phone and work number. Yo, he left you his oh, number! Oh shit, we got them digits. Oh, damn. Oh. I think he's down to clown. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he might just be I, down I like, to clown. I like Wesley's comment, the dragon with the girl tattoo. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. There were also some numbers for delivery of food and other necessities. Do they eat I, the same food? I feel like they don't. Their version of pizza is like an entire live goat. We're like, all oh, great pizza. <laughs> they still call it pizza, but it's an entire live goat. Our cultures are too different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As well as emergency and even janitorial services. He seemed to think I would really need the janitorial services. <laughs> he underlined it kind of a lot. <laughs> He had certainly thought of everything, even though I now had to wonder what a dragon plumber might look like. That's a fair question. That's racist. Are they like the ones in our human pornography? <laughs> I had to assume yes. For a second, was I thought he, that was, was our he doorbell. Here to clear up my pipes? Question mark. <laughs> my musings were interrupted when the doorbell rang. When I opened the door, I was met by a gorgeous dragon. Oh shit. I hope it's the plumber. Oh, oh it's a shit! Boy! Buddy, oh my goodness. Why you wanna? You wanna be this boy? I said Sebastian. Buddy, you wanna be Sebastian? Yeah. Do it. <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, you must be my boy. Yeah. Or security. Oh, I suppose. You're our escort. Uh, usually, I work for the police, though. Nice to meet you. Oh my god. 
He seemed a lot smaller than Remy. I had no interest in his tiny dragon dick. His tiny twink <laughs> dragon dick. Twink. <laughs> and when he somewhat, and when he somewhat nervously extended his arm toward me, I noticed he apparently only walked on his hind legs, like some sort of freak. Oh my God! The two forelimbs, instead, having distinct arms, hands, and fingers. I was interested in the thing. <laughs> the things he might be able to do with those freaky fingers. Oh, kiss his head! Kiss his fucking head! What the fuck? Do <laughs> it! Are we going like all in on fucking. I kinda really wanna kiss his hand! <laughs> We're just gonna try and fuck everything that moves. Yes! When oh I took his hand into mine, preparing to kiss it, I could feel the individual bumps and scales on his rough skin. Hell yeah. Jesus also, Christ. I'm totally in a position of like, oh, it's a it's a cultural species difference. I'm so sorry. Yes, we, we all do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice to meet you too, Sebastian. So, where are you taking me? The couch. Why, why are you saying, why are you saying, uh, straight to business, eh? Ah, okay. Uh, we're going to visit the plant, <laughs> the the plant where they're uh, making your generators. Uh, they have some news for you, so or so I've heard. Uh, Reed's, uh, Rick will be there too. Excellent. Good. <laughs> Sounds divine. You're crazy. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Just follow me. <laughs> Dark Side for the thirteenth month. Damn. And Fredo. Subscribe for their first. <gasps> Thank you, my boy. At uh, tier ones. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> I imagine we're still naked, <laughs> by the way. Because he gave us five minutes and is like, Sebastian pulls out mace. Bad touch. <laughs> no. It's like, why are you <laughs> Pulls naked? out taser. <laughs> I told you no. I was caught, man. It's like, why, why are you still naked? I, I mean, I just wanted to, you know, embrace your culture. I thought you'd be more comfortable this way. Oh my we, God. We, we still wear clothes. You know, we wear something. Like, come on, put on a tie, you savage. At least a tie. <laughs> tie, nothing else. You'd like that. There you go. Now you? I'm much more comfortable with you. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Sebastian? Me and a tie and nothing else. <laughs> Yes, oh. that would make me infinitely more comfortable. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> At least you'd be wearing something then. Any amount of clothing would be a vast improvement. <laughs> While we walked, I was under the impression we were purposefully avoiding the busier parts of town. Instead, str st <clears throat> instead straying toward the edges and small alleys has not gone too much attention. He's taking you in the back alleys, boy. I knew what his dirty mind was planning, but <laughs> I would never let on. Let the boy have his fun. <laughs> I kept my eye on that hat. I knew what happened when it came off. Oh shit. Even then, we got the occasional stare. I wanted them to watch. <laughs> I wanted them to know what was about to happen. Damn it. <laughs> yes. I'm so about this game. <laughs> After just a couple minutes, we arrived at our destination, if you know what I mean. Damn! Where we were met by Rick, as well as yet another dragon. Oh. A vicious looking beast that didn't stay too close that didn't stay too close to him. Hal the barrel maker gave us one hundo bits and said the only way to fully embrace a new culture is to put your dick in it. Oh well, we oh my god, we found well, Rick's top. I was gonna say that's definitely Rick's top. All right, top. so who's gonna be Rick? Fuck it, Mac, do it. Hey. Fuck it. Rick, long time no see. Did you fuck them yet, Nick? How true that is. Good to finally see another human face around here. Yeah. Also, why are you naked? <laughs> <laughs> what a coincidence to have you of all people show up. A fellow scaly. Yo, right? Yeah. Guess those degrees aren't so useless after all. Uh, sure, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, that's about. what it is. Whatever. By the way, who's your friend? Who's your friend? <laughs> Just oh. my uh, bodyguard. Same as yours. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't bother with him. He doesn't talk much. Oh my I god. understand. Yeah. I bet you wouldn't fight with mine, though. He looks grumpy. Just like you. <laughs> I mean, we, just are... like this kind of day. He doesn't talk much. Hmm. <clears throat> just like you? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to insult Sebastian. 
very funny. Shut up, Rick. The two dragons exchanged a few words, and as I met the gaze of the larger, tenebrous dragon, Ooh, what a, a word! A few paces from us, Sebastian turned toward me <coughs> and spoke up again. Oh, buddy, buddy, you there? Buddy. What? Oh, sorry. I was looking at another thing. Hey, my boy. This is Maverick. What a good name. Nice to meet you. Okay, you have to be Maverick. Oh, okay, that's fair. Fuck. All right, well, he's going to get the little boy voice because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Yeah, whatever. Just don't expect me to give you any special treatment like everyone else is, and we'll be good. God. Got it, yeah. Maverick. <laughs> Shut up, Maverick. <laughs> He's the bad boy. That's why they call him Maverick. Yo, right? I love him. <laughs> that Sundra would one day be mine. <laughs> I want him. Hey, back off. Why, whatever are you talking about? Oh, my God. So you're saying you haven't noticed the stairs and how they all treat you like you're the next messiah or something? Oh, yeah, I don't face you more of a fight or anything. That's no, I... Oh. Shibiganga gave us 50 bits. Oh, oh, 50, 50, 50 bucks. bucks. I keep going Shit. to say 50 dollars and saying bit, fucking bits. It's awful. What the crap have I stumbled upon? This is glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And yeah, it seems fucking ridiculous. I'm having a good time. Why don't you just like behind your chair? Oh no, it's, it's, it's fine. I'm alright. It, it might get caught on something if I put it behind. Okay. No, no I, I just thought. Fuck you, kid. Come on, baby, let's get out of here. We're not the ones making a big deal out of this. You are. We're just here to get what we agreed on, and then we'll okay. be gone. My if God. anything, I'd actually prefer if you left us alone. <laughs> but you're the one who insists on following me around wherever I go. I told you I want the young ones. Yeah, you tell them, Rick. Oh. <laughs> A growl escaped the larger dragon's delectable lips. Uh, trembling. Trembling. Uh, lips. Trembling. <laughs> As he bared his teeth at Rick. Buddy? <laughs> all right, all right, that's quite enough. Let's just all go inside already, shall we? Shut up, Sebastian. After you. No. After you. I'll kill you, Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> Kick your goddamn your ass! <laughs> Man, break your blood! The crisis was quickly averted as we entered the building, which was characterized by its many floors, high <laughs> ceilings, and long, narrow hallways. <laughs> you know, like buildings have <laughs> floors <laughs> and ceilings. As Sebastian led us to our final destination. Oh, shit. That I, sexy little minx. Mm -hmm. I love that this game. Oh, was. shit! I love this game made Girl dragon. Yeah, Girl dragon. That yeah. one's you. Yeah. There you are. I was waiting for you. Fucking. Oh, she's cute. Well, look at my it's dragon. It's Gilman. Look at my <laughs> dragon goggles. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought we were going to meet the guys for production. What are you doing here, you skank? Oh, 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 I, oh I see how this is. Okay. They're only, they're only coming in later today. So you'll just have to make do with me. Oh shit, they fucking. They totes fucking. I see. Buddy, why are we always fucking? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> <laughs> totes fucking. <laughs> well, my boy, this is Anna. Uh, she kind of she kind of manages this building. Though actually she's more, she's more involved with the research wing uh, rather than production and engineering. Nice to meet you. You're a girl. Oh, and I have no interest in you. <laughs> Get out of here, <laughs> you skink. <laughs> My pleasure. I have something for you, by the way. It'll take uh, it'll take them a while to make all the generators we promised, but we've got one for you here. <laughs> she's like the only. I was just thinking. She's that. the only dragon who's into us. Yeah, right. And we're like, ew, <laughs> girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feel free to send it home and give it a test. That's like, uh, Get the, shut the fuck up, bitch! <laughs> that, that's right. great, I'll take it. Looks a little small, if you ask me. <laughs> that's that's what she said. Oh. Damn. Don't underestimate its power. Oh, and do be careful not to drop it. Don't. Sure. I, I'm really not liking the, you know, the fucking sexual harassment that's uh, 
That's uh, you're putting hey. out here. <laughs> I'll be waiting outside while you do oh. your thing, my boy. I just noticed she has a, like a fucking a pen behind her dragon ear. Oh, oh. no. Oh, she's she does. Cute. She's cute. Anyway, go on. Do your thing, my boy. Do your yeah, thing, my boy. <laughs> I suppose I'll wait up. Uh, wait outside for you as well. Hey, bud. Goodbye. Love the walk animation. Goodbye. What? What? What thing? Ah, oh, we don't have to fuck, do we? <laughs> oh, have you brought the PDA? Uh, what, is, that like a, is that like a euphemism? Oh, God, no. She means the shitty cell phone. Uh, okay. Give her the garbage cell phone. All oh, right, yes, yeah, the fucking mid-90s cell phone. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> Just, like, it's, got, it's so old, it's got like that fucking calculator screen. Oh, no. Like, it's, it's not even yeah. like a flip phone. We're talking like a brick. Like those like old Ugh. car phone setups. Uh. <clears throat> okay. All right, now to give this thing a test run. Oh, uh, Karis gave us 500 bits. This oh. time actually bits. Oh my god. So when do we get to the hot dragon nookie? I'm getting impatient. Yo, fucking same. <laughs> like, it's never, I said the same thing. This game is testing my patience. <laughs> and, me. Oh, Nimlot has subscribed for a Prime account. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. The PDA lit up as our hands swiftly moved around its interface and calculated motions. By the way, would you consider letting me run some tests on you as well? It would only take a draw. I would only take a draw from you, Bruno. How? How? Ew! What? Why? No! Don't touch me. Ugh! I work in biology, so obviously this kind of thing would be very interesting. I love the idea of her being the only dragon interested in yeah, humans right. that way. <laughs> right. I work in biology. It's like, look, no means no, lady. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, it's you're super like about boundaries just with her. <laughs> meanwhile, oh. meanwhile, you're like walking behind Sebastian, like cupping his ass. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> sorry. My hands also, I want to point out real quick, you're you're in the dragon world, right? Yeah. Uh. There's a there's like a human female like bathroom sign in the background there. Oh my oh, god! Yeah. Alright! <laughs> like, we haven't seen any dragons wearing dresses, so Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't really sense. seem like it would make sense. <laughs> oh, they yeah. made, they really made no attempt to adjust the, the background settings to fit this new universe they created. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> there's no right. world building in this in the right, setup. Right. I'd, I'd share the results with you. I'd rather not. not. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Holy shit. You need to be told no once in a while, lady. Eh? <laughs> this is so upsetting. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like your PDA is good. By the way. Oh, by the way, sorry. Looks like your PDA is good, by the way. Uh, so we're just about done here. Thank God. What's your fucking problem with me? <laughs> you have woman parts. <laughs> <laughs> and since we're both in biology, it could be interesting if you want to meet some. Uh, yeah, meet me some other time as well. Here's my number. All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> See you. Fine. That bitch is blushing at you. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> well, that was fucking an ordeal. <laughs> She's the worst! Did she ask you for your blood, too? Yeah, like a fucking freak! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you give it to her? Do we oh, I Rick? gave it to her, all right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's be honest with Rick. He's a man. Ew! <laughs> no! Huh. Me neither. Oh, shit. I mean, if we're gonna give them our blood, let's not do it for free, right? Our body. But yeah. <laughs> they gotta earn that shit. God, poor Anna. She just wants your fucking research. I'm getting hungry. <clears throat> How about some breakfast? Funny, I was thinking I'm more thirsty. Oh shit. Uh, a breakfast of champions. Oh, but I'm I'm all for it. I can't stand early mornings like this. I'm I'm like jokes aside. That shouldn't be a problem. There's a cafe not far from here. What do you say, if it, what do you say, neighbors? <sighs> no! <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Well, don't be a bitch. I wouldn't mind to grab a bite myself. 
I'd like, guess. Yeah, whatever. I, thought. I like, worded it really weird, but whatever. Grim Tuesday. I wouldn't mind about a few myself. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> God. Go, oh, gross. Gosh. Stop. <laughs> that settles it then. Grim Tuesday gave four bits. So why exactly are we playing the bad dragons, the visual novel? And Sapphire the Dude gave us we? Sapphire the Dude gave us fifty bits. Great job on the immersion game. I expected more out of interactive dragon than Isekai. Yo, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. god. <clears throat> Luckily for us, the cafe was mostly Come empty on. when we arrived. Today's men. I know the fucking pillar's blocking <laughs> off the U, but that yeah. just makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> it was still it was still pretty early in the day. Rick was quick to lead me to a table for two, prompting the dragons to get one of their own at the other side of the restaurant. <laughs> Jesus. They needed to know that place. Ugh, finally. I can't stand that guy being on my tail all the damn time. Jesus. We should get on my tail. The amount that he is not what we made him out to be <laughs> in the beginning of this game. <laughs> I, I like to believe that he's just not into the old dragon. I like to believe that he's totally into it, but he's just, like, putting up a fucking front while you're there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, God, I don't, don't want everyone to know I'm into f dragon fucking. Yo, right? It's like, no. This is my it's professional okay, face. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Rick. You're among friends. <laughs> Yo, right? <laughs> I understand, Rick. Don't worry. Not while I'm on the it's clock. <laughs> Maybe. He just likes you a lot. <gasps> yeah. yeah. No. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, and then <laughs> he smiles. smiles. All Ooh. right. We were approached by an individual who appeared to be the waitress of the cafe. All right. No way of knowing for sure. The name tag and, you know, uniform could have been a clever ruse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She was an interesting looking dragon who, <coughs> unlike the others I had seen so far, was more akin to a wyvern, mm. possessing two rather large wings as her forelimbs, which resembled those of an oversized bat. Oh my god. If only she had Don't that Don't just penis describe her. Like show her! So show deep. her! Oh, she's hey. beautiful! There she is! Oh, it's the humans! <laughs> You're Perfect. welcome. Yeah. You were able to correctly identify our species based on what we look like. Congratulations! Wait, where? That sounds so condescending. Oh, oh it's, it's a dragon! <laughs> wow, all of these sound condescending. What a dick! Well, what? pick whichever one you want, is he? Mm. They're all really mean. You were able to correctly identify our species based on what we look like. Congratulations! What a prick. Oh, uh. it's a dragon! I like, oh, it's a dragon. He's not amused. Rick isn't fun. That's a good one. <laughs> sure. Yo, sure. 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 <laughs> Adeen. Oh. Welcome to our establishment. My name is Adeen, and I'll be your waitress today. What can I bring you to? I need the coffee. Well, he said he was hungry. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Just grab her Do we want to roll the dice on today's it? special? Let's roll them. Do bones. it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Yeah, me too. Just uh, make it quick. Sure thing. Two specials coming right up. Oh, I'm so cool and likable. He's the worst. I uh, really don't like him. <laughs> As I was saying, if you look at the big picture, don't you think there's just something off about this whole place? Where is it, really? Is this supposed to be a completely separate place from Earth? Or even a different dimension? Some things just don't add up. Don't you think so, too? I think about this, Rick. We get to fuck dragons. Not just sure. Let me, let me just, my goddamn dragons. Let me just grab my tinfoil hat real quick. Yeah, Yo, that's there's fucking something funny. sinister. Going. <laughs> let me just grab but my tinfoil tin hat real, real quick. quick. Yeah. Fuck you, Rick. <laughs> Don't ruin this for me. I've been here much longer than you've been. Maybe you'll see soon enough once you've had the dick. It comes at a terrible price. I can't really say much more with you know who over there. He's probably listening to us right now. God, Sapphire gave us 50 bits. Little did our protagonist know that cafe was actually the dragon word for sex dungeon. It was a weird first day, but very enjoyable. 
Oh, yeah, here's ah, the dragons have 50 words for sex dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Such a beautiful <laughs> language. <laughs> what, so it's like the Inuit with ice? <laughs> yes, or snow. Or snow. Chum fellow, he doesn't seem so bad to me. What a creep. Who are we talking about? Uh, the Maverick. dragon, yeah, Maverick. Oh. You're like, yeah, he, he doesn't seem so bad to me. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> when I let my gaze wander, <laughs> I saw that Maverick wow. was looking in my direction. Hey, yo, what up? This is no accident. <laughs> Our eyes met briefly. <gasps> His expression was not not showing any discernible emotion. Well, I wondered whether it had been a coincidence or if he really was able to hear us from a distance. Oh shit. Are we accidentally getting the angry dragon to like us instead of getting the dragon to like Rick? <laughs> I, I gave him a knowing wink. <laughs> I do have some theories, and if I'm right, we might be in trouble. What kind of trouble? What are you talking about? I hate you so Just much. Just let me Rick. have this, Rick. You don't understand. <laughs> I think only the girl dragons are interested in us. Yo, Rick. <laughs> Something's gone horribly wrong. I hate it here. <laughs> it's terrible. Shh, be quiet. I'll let you know more as soon as I can. But for now, let's just play along. After all, we already have one of these babies. What? Oh. He patted the generator's box for emphasis. It's Apparently just in his pants. Kid. It's just like a big square where his dick should be, and he's like, pant, pant. <laughs> God knows we need them. <clears throat> oh, there she comes. There she come. The female return. Now you need to say a female with way more disdain. The female return. There you go. <laughs> astounding me with her ability to balance the dishes on the edge of her wings. Oh. She placed her forelimb on the table and proceeded to move the dishes from her wing to us with a gentle push of her snoot. <laughs> she really didn't know how to read the room at all. Really didn't know when she wasn't wanted. Kara scares a hundred bits. There's questions this game's not answering. Wait, how old was the dragon you had sex with? I don't know. Said she was 500 or something? Pedophile! Oh, Jesus. Oh, there you point. go. Watch out. It's hot. Something around here has to be. Oh, wow. Say nothing. Now shoe scaly face. That's now so shoe mean. scaly face. None of that. Either thanks or say nothing. <laughs> Just empty silence. Yes. I don't know. Do we want to just be as mean as possible to all the girls? <laughs> oh, if you want the bad end, if you want go the bad ahead. End, yeah. Maybe oh. just thanks then. I'm not Say sure. Nothing is funnier. Yeah. All right. God, what a bitch. Yo, <laughs> his fucking face, right? <laughs> <laughs> apparently today, apparently today's special consisted of an odd-looking fish of some sort. I was a little hesitant to try it, but considering the steam coming from it, it was probably better to wait a few minutes anyway. Hi. When the ra waitress brought out a, <clears throat> when the waitress brought out meals to the two dragons across the cafe, and exchanged a few words with them, Rick leaned forward and whispered something to me. Oh shit! I'll send you a letter with a coded message later. You'll know what to do. I feel like Rick's the bad guy here. Rick I... rose from. Oh, sorry. What is it? No, I'm just saying it feels like Rick's the bad guy. Like I don't like his tone. Oh, maybe he he's just me... the only one who's onto this conspiracy. I mean, yeah. maybe, but he makes me uneasy. Yeah, he's he's either a crazy person who is going to do something very reckless, mm. or he has noted some weird conspiracy with the dragons. Mm. But either way, yeah, there's something going on with Rick. Rick rose from his seat before he made it known to me what that he still had a few things to do and left the restaurant, following short followed shortly by the larger of the two dragons. The lucky Fucking bitch. Bye. <laughs> Woo! God taking that hot piece of ass with you. you it's not fair. A, you son of a bitch. But you haven't even touched your fish? It's this fish? I'm gonna say fish. It's shark! <laughs> Get out of here, scale face! <laughs> no one wants your disgusting presence. Uh, that dude's super racist against dragons. Yeah, you yeah, know. <laughs> Just you. 
You're the worst, and bitch. you're kind. <laughs> Sapphire, the dude gave 100 bits. This world being so similar to ours, yet having multiple commonplace things that dragons wouldn't be able to use, effectively gives me so many questions they are not worth answering. Yo, yeah, right? <laughs> it's just like, this is such a bizarre world that they built. Yeah. I wasn't in a hurry. So I spent a few more minutes in contemplation while I looked out the window and at what I really hoped was a goddamn fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that this whole situation was already already bizarre enough, there was also now the vague sense of danger conveyed by Rick's earlier words. I did not even have an idea of what kind of threat might be lurking out there. Mm -hmm. As long as I got to... Do the do the do. Do the dragon do. Do that dragon do. Mm -hmm. I didn't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I took a bite of somewhat unusual breakfast. Mm. While I already thought the smell was quite peculiar, the taste had been even worse. Yeah, we rolled I, the dice on this definitely. <laughs> I imagined it might be the kind of delicacy that had an had an acquired taste. Mm. One that I certainly hadn't acquired yet. <laughs> I decided to go outside before it was too late. <laughs> Are you tired? Sure am, slugger. <laughs> Punches his arm. Stop it. How'd you I like it? Like it. <laughs> <laughs> I almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. You want a taste? Damn! Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so sweet! <laughs> hey, hey, <when laughs> to say that <laughs> you better wait outside just in case it decides to come up again. Oh damn! So it's not. Don't worry. So it's not I'll dragon delicacy. Informed. So it's not a dragon delicacy. They just took you to a shitty cafe. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, system. You tried the odd-looking odd fish. fish. Achievement unlocked. Bravery. Bravery. Sure thing. Uh. Not saying Ugh. words like that. <laughs> like what? Like, like, like a dragon. Like what? Caressing his face. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all need to calm down. <laughs> to caress face. You humans are weird. <laughs> I put his sure. entire claw in my mouth. How? <laughs> all right, this is sexual Sucking harassment, and I'm harassing you. <laughs> I stepped outside. Taking in the scenery of the strangely familiar world. This is actually a really nice picture. Yeah, man. In the short time I was here, I had already found the similarities between their world and ours, or in our own, utterly fascinating. It made it no was goddamn exactly sense. The goddamn really. same. The only difference was dragons and maybe more rustic-looking houses. Oh. Thank you for the subscription. Cog in the machine. <gasps> Third month, what a beautiful boy. After all, we were talking about an unmapped place with never before seen form of life. That I'd yet to fuck, god damn it! I just wanna fuck him! As this far, is a visual you know, novel, everyone! Yeah. <laughs> well, the visual novels need to learn what pacing is. <laughs> you give a little something up front, and you know, it tides you over for the long haul. That's right, you need some kind of, like, tease going on. <laughs> That's why horror movies always start with, like, you know, the quick kills at the beginning. Yeah, exactly. As far as discoveries were concerned, even something as simple as a new unicellular organism or even bacteria would have been remarkable. Damn. Yet here I was, standing in the middle of a village evidently built by this race of intelligent, talking dragons with a society not unlike our own. Yeah, Ace like, Unknown, they already said that this universe has doorknobs, so... I say, like, come to think of it, fucking, it's a miracle you can even breathe here. Yeah. What if you just went through the teleporter and fucking died? It's extremely convenient. Yeah, man. Just imagine the dragon's, like, panicking, and then, like, the letter comes in. So, how's our buddy uh, doing on the other side? Ah, oh, uh, he's, he's, he's fine. He's, he's dead. He's cool. Uh, it was, like, the, like, mad science equivalent of, like, Weekend at Bernie's. Mm -hmm. How are we supposed to know humans don't breathe sulfur? <laughs> God! Rick didn't seem to share the same interest, and instead was more smitten with the generator. Ew, he's fucking the generator. Sick fuck. <laughs> but given our reasons for coming here in the first place, I couldn't blame him for his 
enthusiasm being focused on something other than dragon bonus. These dragons just weren't putting out, man. He God. needs to put his attention somewhere else for a little bit. Culture of prudes, they were. <laughs> My thoughts were interrupted as something suddenly zipped past me just a little too close, causing me to stumble back. It was a rather small dragon with a bag clasped in its maw, who oh. apparently had somewhere to be. Oh. Aww. Aww. That's adorable. It's so it's cute. I want to it. I yeah. it. Okay. I regained my footing and watched as it disappeared into the <laughs> distance. Bye, buddy. No! No voicing it anymore. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be back. Even though I'd seen enough dragons to recognize their variations in size, color, and other attributes, mm. I guessed this one must have been a juvenile of its species. Oh, shit. The hottest among them. <laughs> The sure. forbidden fruit <laughs> with <laughs> such sweet juices. <laughs> oh. The juvenile Carrie. juices. <laughs> Leave it to Carrie to go too far. It's how I do. <laughs> how I do. There's a line, Carrie. We discussed this. <laughs> yeah. Shit, I forgot to turn down the actual speakers. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Karis gave 100 bits to say, ah, the dragon version of jailbait. Lovely. It's perfect. <laughs> Perfection. Shortly afterwards, Sebastian joined me outside, having taken care of the tab. <gasps> you bought lunch for you. you. Don't like loot the dragon lolly. <gasps> <gasps> Buddy, you bought lunch for us. Damn. <gasps> You're damn right I did. <laughs> <laughs> I gave her a generous tip on your behalf. I hope you don't mind. You have my money, Sebastian? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind, but there's another tip that I'd love a generous portion of. Damn! All right, you're pushing your luck, kids. <laughs> <laughs> there's something else I'd like you to push. <laughs> I'm arresting He's, you. I'm so <laughs> proud of you right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, boy. <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Of course, you not know, as long as I don't have to pay the bill. Actually, I do. How nice of you. <laughs> we, we want to be nice this time because yeah. it's Sebastian we're talking to. Yeah, it's yeah. true. So how nice of you. How generous of you. Yeah. Are you generous in other areas? Mm -hmm. In any case, uh, <laughs> now that, you, now that so you've given us the PDA and uh, Rick has the generator, uh, you're free for the day. Uh, so if you want to go anywhere in particular, let me know or I can show you around town. I was tempted to be given a tour, but considering Rick's words, I wanted to be careful and not stray too far without knowing more about this world first. I think I'll stay home for today. I still have to get used to everything, you know? I mean, you're free to join me. In my nope. home. Nope. Oh, I'll just to cover you back then. Would you like to come inside for some Coming hot inside? dick? <laughs> I mean, and there we are. And no. Home, <laughs> home sweet home, for now at least. Oh my fucking Stop God. saying things like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, if you need anything, I'll be outside constantly. until my shift ends. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. No, no. Stay. <laughs> no. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you stay for breakfast? We just had breakfast. It was gross fish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. See you tomorrow. Yeah, bye. Oh my god. Karis gave us a hundred bits and is like, ask where the dragon red light district is and catch a dragon skin show. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I hadn't really looked at the apartment much, so I spent the rest of the day investigating and relaxing. I considered checking out some of the phone numbers Remy had left me, but I thought it was better to keep a low profile for now. I'm gonna try and do a manual save. Just uh, save. Uh, uh, there I'm gonna, you go. I'm gonna go make some popcorn. I'll be back in a couple minutes. Yo, All right. I need popcorn for this shit. It's a good time. It's a good time. Let's see. I hadn't really looked at the apartment much, so, but, uh, so I spent the rest of the day investigating and relaxing. Oh, you relax in your cute apartment. I considered checking out some of the phone numbers when they left me, but I thought it was better to keep a low profile for now. I found the kitchen fully stocked with plenty of groceries. 
though the variety was wasted on me. I hadn't been a particularly great cook in the first place, but what but <clears throat> what was more, I didn't even recognize some of the things I found here. Oh shit. Whether they were edibles, <laughs> whether they were edibles that we had back home that I just didn't know about or something completely alien, I wasn't sure. But I didn't want to take the risk of eating anything I didn't know. That's fair. Yeah, Best ma'am. to just use them as dildos for now until I could get clarification. You're right. You're right. After all, these dragons seem to, see, certainly weren't taking the initiative. You're right. <laughs> and Daddy's not got to get his. <laughs> these goddamn dragons and they're not putting out for me on the first day. Crowwin oh. just uh, gave us 16 bits. Oh. I just joined the stream to Izzy asking if someone wanted, and I quote, some hot dick. Uh-huh. This is going to be good, isn't it? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Came in at the right time, my boy. Okay. After all, it was possible that some of the comestibles might be oh. fine for them to eat, but still poisonous for us. I mean, yeah, you're right. It's really the kind of research someone should have gone into. Oh, no, am I a dog in this universe? Is dragon chocolate poison to me? Holy shit, <laughs> I was also glad to find a shelf that was filled to the brim with a variety of books. Mm. I well, couldn't I, read them. They were all in Draconic. <laughs> while I found the subject matter of man, myth, or reality to be quite intriguing. Holy shit. I was disappointed by the utter lack of graphic sex scenes. <laughs> I quickly lost interest. Clearly these dragons didn't have as much of a sexual interest in us as we did in them. In the end, I settled for an adventure novel about a dragon archaeologist who stumbled upon the remains of a lost human civilization. <laughs> After which, she is hunted by an evil organization who wants to use the found magical artifacts for its own nefarious, non-sexual purposes. So he found so Lara Croft. So I lost interest. <laughs> he found, he lost found, interest. He found he dragon Lara Croft. He did. Yeah. He totally did. While entertaining, I had to admit that it reminded me a little too much of the trashy novels we had at home. Hell yeah. In other words, not nearly trashy enough for my taste. <laughs> I certainly found it amusing that certain tropes were not really unique to us as a species. Oh my god. Though I wondered whether this kind of literature had fallen into disfavor here as it had, <clears throat> as it had back where I came, come from. And Karis gave us a hundo bits and is like, find the dragon porn mags. Find the dragon porn bags! We're trying! You, know, you look ac- you look at the table and just they have play dragon. Hell yeah. I was reading a particularly exciting scene mm. in which the hero, Sheridan, uses one of the magical artifacts shaped like a pair of human hands. Nice. Oh, saucy. Yeah. Holding a scepter with a globe at the top Holy of it. Holy shit! God, that's gonna do some damage. Oh. <laughs> to prevent yourself from being crushed and ground into a bloody pulp by an ancient human temple's moving walls. Then I suddenly heard the doorbell ring. Drake boy, perfect. My booty call had apparently arrived. That better be fucking Sebastian or I'm gonna be mad. Oh! Ah, oh, shit! That's a new Adorable. boy. Adorable. Is it a boy or a girl? I can't tell. Uh, the eyelashes but, are like the only indicator. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure. Might be a girl based on eyelashes? That's oh. it's, a, it's an adorable young boy. Mac, mm. you want to be the young boy? Hello there. Would you please sign here? Oh. I'm not signing away my rights with this, am I? God. I've got a letter for you that requires signature confirmation. Oh. oh. <gasps> I eat poopies. <laughs> well. Has resubscribed for three months. I'm very proud of you, I eat poopies. And now I'm back. <gasps> Hello, buddy's back. Buddy. Hey, look, we, we have a new boy. Oh, Hi. boy. I see. Looking over the clipboard, the small dragon was holding up to me. I saw that the sender of the letter in question was Rick. Goddamn Rick. There you go. I'm Warren, by the way. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Oh, buddy. Great oh. timing, buddy. Uh, what is this about? I'm just making small talk. None of that. No. Bullshit, get out of here. Wait a well, there's still time. You can still be <laughs> saved. <laughs> Wait a minute. I recognize you. You tried to do the same thing with Rick. 
Maybe I should report you to their superiors for your inappropriate behavior towards your clients. Oh. And also this fuckers. Yeah, points, yeah. To, <laughs> points to my boy. I mean, if you ask me, he hasn't been inappropriate enough yet. Things are just getting started. I'll kill you. <laughs> I don't, what, what's happening here? I'm so you confused. like it rough, do you, Sebastian? I will arrest you. <laughs> oh, naughty. But you it's got, important. Got, you got your handcuffs? I was going to say, you got your handcuffs? But it's important, please. Just let me ta talk to my boy for a few minutes. <laughs> no. This is the right name. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we maybe shouldn't have capitalized it, though. You're it's right. fine. It's funny, though. Uh, you, uh, you know how it is. If you want an interview with one of the humans, you'll have to get permission from the proper authority. Oh, Help me out here, my boy. As an ambassador, you care about the accurate portrayal of humans in the media, don't you? Get the fuck out of here. Then you should talk to me. Otherwise, someone else will fill in the blanks, and who knows what they will come up with. Let me show you something. The small dragon opened his bag. Not oh. the one I was hoping yeah. for, but perhaps it would do. Rummaging through a number of letters in small packages next to his very large package. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I lost it. Oh, you haven't lost anything, my friend. Oh, anyway, damn. I wanted to show you some pictures yeah. of what people think humans look like. On some of them, they have like four heads and look nothing like you. It's crazy. You want to see my head? Oh damn. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it, aren't I? <laughs> Why don't you give me your head? <laughs> it's attached to my shoulders. Sebastian just has the face of fucking constantly with you. <laughs> God damn it. What are you, Lorem? A reporter? No, I'm just... Yeah, do you want me to remove it, my boy? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. The boy's just curious. <laughs> Nothing uh. wrong with a little curiosity. <laughs> it's so good. Is uh. what he is saying true? Uh, yeah, I guess. Oh. I see. That sounds pretty interesting, though. All right. You can leave your number here and... Maybe I'll call you later, but that's all I can promise. Don't leave me waiting. Oh, oh my god. Thank you, thank you so much! No, thank you. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he quickly produced a small sheet of paper and scribbled his number on it. Afterwards, he sheepishly presented it with both hands. You need, like, an actual fucking diary to put all these numbers you're being given in. <laughs> like, like everyone is just throwing their number at you. Like, shit. I think that well, bits. 100 bits. Oh. You have the young, excited, inexperienced one, the older, standoffish, tsundere one, and then you, the one who has them both. It's just like my fan fiction, DX. It's perfect! Uh. <laughs> All right, you got what you wanted. Off you go now. Yeah! Woo! Sebastian, you eee! didn't seem to like someone else being around me. Is there something you want to talk Sorry about? Sorry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, I guess that should be all. I'll see you tomorrow then. I grab his arm as he tries to leave. No, you don't. <laughs> you, don't you don't need to go just yet, Sebastian. There's, there's no need. <laughs> There's still so much we can do. Please, please let me go. He runs away, <laughs> lightning speed. With all the commotion, he got away from me, slippery devil. <laughs> I almost forgot I was also still holding Rick's letter. Oh. Within the plain envelope was a similarly plain sheet of paper with this plain, boring bitch handwriting. God, I hated Rick. God, he didn't deserve the opportunities he had gotten. <laughs> When I started reading, however, I saw that his wording was so full of the pleasantries I knew he hated that I assumed every word of it was faked as to conceal its true intent. It was a coded message you said earlier. He literally said it was a coded message. He did mention I know what to do, 
but I was unsure of how I was supposed to decode the letter's secret message. He probably should have told me in advance. Yo, right? He sent you a fucking coded message with no key? What an asshole. How am I supposed to figure this out? I didn't remember ever having a conversation about this topic with him, yet he still relied on me to remember whatever it was that I was missing. God. Oh, he thought I would be able to just figure it out on my own. This is what it said. Hello, my dear friend. I hope this letter reached you swiftly and in good condition. Unfortunately, we were not able to catch up earlier, so I wanted to write you this letter. How have you been these last few years? What have you been doing? How's the family? I feel like there is so much we should talk about, since we have not seen each other much recently. At least we have a chance to do so in this form. Quite an exciting venture we are on now, right? How would you, how have you liked it here so far? Made any dragon friends yet? Not nearly enough for my taste. Damn right. Ha ha. Oh. Anyways, <laughs> Why, I will ha, be ha. looking forward to your reply soon. Best regards. Rick. Yes. Various things came to mind. Only reading certain words or letters was one that I thought of immediately but I couldn't make out anything after trying a system with its array of letters and lines. Maybe I had to look more carefully. You got its meaning, read between the lines, look out for hints. Mm. Uh, should we ask chat for their suggestions? Yeah. What uh, do you think, chat? One, two, or three. I'm kind of leaning towards like three, like look out for hints. Yeah. So we're just like, I think it's no, I think I know it's meaning, and then it'll just be like, fucking, do you, bitch? Do mm -hmm. you? Between the lines? Yeah, they're doing slightly more towards between the lines. Alright. Okay, what's read between the lines? Alright, I know. Lines, of course. Maybe I was supposed to read between them. I didn't have an implement on me with which I would have been able to read fine print, though with this handwritten letter, I doubted Rick could have done anything of the sort. Oh, look uh, elsewhere for him? Yeah. Or maybe he referred to the fact that we were both given an apartment. Considering the things they provided for us, maybe I just had to find the right object to decode the message. There were many everyday items here, though, and of course I still had no idea what in particular I was looking for. Okay. Bookshelf, looking in the bathroom, looking in the kitchen. Um, I mean, bookshelf? Bookshelf first? Yeah, that yeah, well. makes the most sense. Yeah. The bookshelf was stocked with quite a variety of books on different topics. Maybe Rick left me another message here at some point. He could have he known that I was going to live here, so I suppose it is possible that he helped with the preparation and hit something for me to find. Ah. Grim Tuesday gave us two bits. Now I'm just imagining my boy saying all this narration out loud. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, even after removing every single book from the shelf, there was still no indicator of anything that would help me decode a secret message. Damn it. But even if Rick did leave a hint, this could have been anywhere in the apartment, and not just on his bookshelf. Look okay. at an individual book. Maybe it has something to do with the books? The shelf is full of them, but I suppose the hint could be hidden inside of them. Oh my god. Draconic, Draconic desire. desire! Oh my god. Born to serve, Christ in prayer. Oh. The Ixomen sphere and how to use it. Alright. Mm. Assault so of the humanoids from outer space. I feel like Draconic Desire, though. Mm -hmm. Oh <gasps> shit! Oh, it's beautiful. Wait. Oh my god. The sensation that swept the nation. The okay. novel of a generation. Can't Perfect. Read, read the novel. But, oh my god. I was so young and naive back. God, barely having reached the age at which the arduous process of finding a mate, settling down, and starting a family became expected. Can Yet we turn down the music a little bit? I can barely hear Carrie. <laughs> <myself immediately, laughs> but uh, they were childish and crude and uncultured. God, they were so crude, so very crude. I was lost in a sea of uncertainty, drifting, hoping to be found by the one. One day, and then I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is trash. How fast time flies when you're happy. 
Jesus. I can't believe this was just two weeks ago. Two weeks ago I found the one, my truest soulmate there ever could be. I hate this. <laughs> Like a wrecking ball, he came out of nothing. What? Breaking all the barriers and entering my life. Two weeks ago, I was nothing. Today, I am the happiest dragon alive. Who knew that out of all the people alive, it only took the right one to, to write life itself. I don't like the message of this book. <laughs> Who knew that to meet the perfect one, the only thing you needed was. All right. Shit. <laughs> Fucking I don't think there's shit. anything in here. Sure, ho. I love this. <laughs> yeah, chat kind of pointed out that I think we actually found 50 scales of gray. We did yeah. it. Yeah. And who let this mess ever get to print? Yo, sheesh. Right? Uh, let's see. Hmm. The Ixomen Sphere and how to use it. Do it. Good, Izzy. As a manual meant for the general populace, this booklet intends to bring you, the valued reader, closer to the uses and joys of an Ixomen Sphere might bring. I have taken utmost care to use simple language and instructions to remove the well-known barrier between individuals and knowledge of proper use of this most wondrous device. For interested parties, a chapter about the Ixomen Sphere's history and ideas for advanced applications can be found later in the book. Oh God. Quick start guide. Step one, place your Ixomen Sphere on a flat, <laughs> stable surface. Make sure that the surface is indeed stable and flat. Okay, this might help. If this confuses you, perhaps get a level of some sort. Mm -hmm. Or a friend who's not a total moron. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Expert tip. Use a spirit level! <laughs> in order to determine if a surface is absolutely horizontal, in order to prevent the Ixomen sphere from rolling off the table unintendedly. Skip the second. God. Plug your Ixomen <laughs> sphere into any fitting household outlet. <laughs> Warning, make sure the Ixomen sphere's power switch is in the off position prior to uh. plugging it in. Step third, locate the power switch on the Ixomen sphere. This step may introduce some difficulties. Oh my god. As many different models of Ixomen spheres exist, with varying methods of turning them on and then off again. Holy shit. When in doubt, please contact your Ixomen spheres manufacturer uh. to help with this step if necessary. I mean, if you're supposed to make sure that it's in the off position, shouldn't you check where the switch is before you plug it in then? Yeah. Now I know how to work an Ximen sphere. Fuck if I know where that is. Karis yeah. gave us 100 bits. What a long, drawn-out way to say you finally found a baseball bat to pound your naughty parts with. Yeah, man. Hey. <laughs> Assault of the humanoids from space. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it's kitties! You want to do this one, buddy? Buddy? Buddy! Uh, sure. <laughs> Arc one. Perfect. It was a dark and stormy night. I was Relentlessly <laughs> pouring with the rain outside, periodically interrupted by the loud echo of thunder. Again and again. So quick at its roaring, staccato. Become that it become that it almost seemed like someone was pounding against the door. Damn. No, someone was really, someone really <laughs> was pounding on the door right now. The door swiftly opened, and the moment for which the house's owner had waited decades finally was here. Not on the field of battle do you meet me, human scum, but in the comforts of, your, of my own home do you seek to assassinate me. Feel my wrath. May it lead you to a slow and painful D-E-A-T-H. 
All right. He screamed at the top of his lungs. Your audio book's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Your resistance will only temper my blade, inferior creature. Taste my blood and die from it. The reply <laughs> Riley came from the human invader standing within the door frame. God. Hyro quickly stabbed him Kill with you. his <laughs> magi pen. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> A lethal hit, which, which caused the human invader to slump to the very to the ground instantly. His last words being, D "Damn you, 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 Hyro! This it is not over y y yet." While he meddled, or uh, melded into a red blotch, blot, uh, blotching up Hyro's carpet. <laughs> Hyro looked up into the sky and realized <laughs> all oh. the thunder and rain had really been the UFOs of the invaders. Numerous enough as to rival the raindrops falling from the sky. Oh my god. This was the moment he, when he knew it was too late. This meant war. Arc well, two. If war. Had rules, that <laughs> war. Would be it. And <laughs> let's see. Karis gave us another hundred bits, saying, "At least this game finally gave us some pussy, and I'll show myself out." You're all right. <laughs> yes. <Excellent. laughs> was well, it a kitty? Karis. I thought it was like wolf eyes. Oh no, it was totally a kitty. Huh. Yeah. Really? An invasion by human aliens? Is that what they think we're like? Right crow eyed the ultimate dick move while dying. Stain their carpet with as much as possible. And Sapphire the Dude with 100 bits. I'd like to say that I'm feeling much better and no longer care about these D&D dicks. This is better than any campaign I could have ever been a part of. Aww. Aww. Sapphire. Let's see. Born to serve an autobiography of Avdon the Seventh, a council member of some renown. Chapter 1, Rise from the Ashes. From the day I was born, I knew I was destined for greatness. As a member of the Avedonian household, nothing less was expected from me. My father, Avdon the Sixth, made sure of that. My mother, however, was a worm. Not literally, mind you. She was not some sort of any liquid squirming beneath the earth and living in filth. No, she was just what I would describe as the lowest form of life. Uh, Jesus. Not concerning herself with matters of any importance, she instead sought to base her existence on superficialities. Not that it mattered much, as I grew to hate them both equally. Right. For those who may want to critique me now for saying this, I have no doubt of my father's political achievements, yet only those who have had to live with him know that these successes came at the price of his very soul. An empty shell of a dragon, driven by nothing but his performance as a politician, not as a father. Jesus. That bitch got issues. Mm. Politician, huh? I wonder what their government is actually like. I'm gonna read all of these books and there's gonna be no fucking answer on this guy. I'm book. fine with that. They're at least interesting. It's true. Who, who, who wants this one? Uh, is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Price and Prayer, a politographical novel. Okay. Preface! <laughs> In the 1422nd year since our ascent to sentience, a most extraordinary chain of events led to the most extraordinary of circumstances in our politics and society. I like politics. <laughs> <laughs> These events have since been buried in history until I stumbled upon the records of these tumultuous times. I have taken it upon myself to dramatize the events in a matter that is both accurate to history as well as an entertaining to any reader who might have an interest in such stories. This is not just for my own personal gain, as I hope to make this story available to a larger audience than just a few who have permission to visit the archives. 
I believe the wisdom is to be gained from the ensuing, from the ensuing tale, to be more relevant, relevant to us now than ever. I'm having a stroke. I was gonna say, I feel like he's getting more and more drunk as it goes on. He's been sipping wine, like I've begun to walk in. Oh, Timothy, my wine glass has apparently been emptied. <laughs> Fill it for me, post haste. Oh, we got achievement, bookworm. Heck yeah. You read a bunch of books. I missed the fish queen voice. Oh. <laughs> you read a bunch of books. Well, okay, go back. Go back. Go back. Uh, uh, um, back in my kitchen. Our kitchen. Oh, oh shit. Sorry. All right. Um, Look at the cabin. All right. Okay, I don't know. Look in the fridge or pantry. The frigge. The frigge. Plenty of stuff in here. Me. Uh, open an egg and look inside. <laughs> <Doing it. laughs> Crack an egg on it. Reveal <laughs> your secrets of the future. <laughs> now, if, this is just an egg. If that somehow had the clue that you needed. I would like Rick so much more. <laughs> like he somehow put a fucking code breaker in an uncracked egg. Either that, <laughs> or he somehow thought that both soothsaying was real and that we knew precisely how to do it. I, and more so that soothsaying was real because it would give us the actual code. Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay. You were saying believe Susan. It's like, no, no, there's a difference between believing something's real and just being like, oh, no, no, it's real. Okay, Mitch, crack. Let's crack another egg. <laughs> so I'm in an unlabeled container. It's an unlabeled container with some sort of white liquid inside. Oh, no. Well, here goes nothing. It's dragon semen. It's salty. It's totally dragon uh, semen. Oh no! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Finally! You drink the dragon semen. No, no, I like mystery liquid. <laughs> yeah, we know what it is. It's, we know what it is. And we got the achievement, Daredevil. Heck yeah. Man without fear. It's just a slab of meat, nothing special. Look at the milk. Pasteurized. At least they've got that down. All right. All right. Oh, this go what back. Can we I'm pretty sure it's like infinite at this point. If I put it on the floor and then step on it, what would happen? You look like a fucking crazy person right I'd now. I'd be going, going on a date. Uh, oh. Uh, but no, there's no hint here. Huh. Lemon. Now I have a squished date. Lemons. Lemons. Lemons! Of course! Why didn't I realize it sooner? Lemon juice is about the simplest way to write a hidden message using household items. Oh. We learned about that in chemistry. Uh -huh. In the most boring detail. You're welcome. Of course. A message written in lemon juice on paper becomes just about invisible to the naked eye when dry. But after heating it gently, oxidization occurs, making the message visible. Oh, I was just light the fucking letter on fire. <laughs> I was sitting next to him in class when we learned that. We made a joke about <laughs> using the method to cheat on our next test, and I replied by saying he'd have to bring an iron. Had he really uh, expected me to remember a random chemistry class that had happened years ago? But then, I, I did remember it, after all. It just took me a goddamn while. <laughs> after I read my entire collection of books, apparently. Oh my god. Meet me at the portal tonight, 10 p.m., was all the message said. I wasn't a good, I, I wasted, wasted a good amount of time, but I still had some left before, or, yeah, some left before I'd have to go out to meet Rick, so I decided to make some lunch. Nice. I love the idea of, like, I've meet me. i all of my food, though. I like the idea of, like, meet me at 10 p.m., you realize you've been reading the book so long, you look up at 11, shit. shit. <laughs> Just sprinting outside. <laughs> Screaming, Rick! Rick! <laughs> Rick! I got your secret coded message with the lemons! Like, really loud. And Tell me about the dragon conspiracy, <laughs> Rick! 
Afterwards, I resumed reading my book about the continuing adventures of Sheridan and her exploits in destroying cultural artifacts. You know, you talk shit about that book, but you keep going back to it. You're right. He didn't have a lot else to do. Unsurprisingly, it came to a happy end, if you know what I mean. When the evil organization stopped in its tracks, at least for now. I thought the ending was deliberately left open for ambiguity, but then I turned to the page and saw the advertisement for the next entry in this apparently long-running series of books. I realized all of this had just been a ploy to set up the inevitable sequel. I felt so betrayed, I threw the book out the window. Excellent. Luckily, the disappointment didn't last long, as I had to get going to meet Rick at the portal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I got outside, it didn't seem quite as dark as it was when I arrived yesterday. I might have had difficulties finding my way otherwise, but I could still see the portal in the distance. Oh, thank you for the bits, Karis. Oh. Next nice person to try and read this book wonders why the pages are all sticky. Yo, right? Ugh. Yeah. I mean, accurate. Yeah. Oh, Sapphire My also gave 100 bits. Ooh, Izzy's doing the Miranda voice. Braces for imminent aneurysm. Yo, right? <laughs> and I, I'm having a strip. <laughs> <laughs> As I was walking, I wondered if anyone was following me, but the land seemed oddly deserted. Is everyone already asleep? I arrived at the very obvious portal. Eventually, I arrived at my destination. Rick was already standing idly by the portal, his fidgeting making it obvious that he had waited just for me. Oh. I was already wondering whether you'd get it at all. Guess I did. Would you expect... <laughs> Well, you didn't make it easy. Yeah, I can't like What did you expect, this super fucking... Yeah. What did you expect to have a moment? Mm -hmm. Dot, dot, dot. What a wonderful night it is. Just look up at the stars. You can see them so clearly here without all the pollution lingering in the air like back home. Almost as if we were looking right into the face of eternity itself. Are you hitting on me, Rick? <laughs> Yo, right? That's great, Rick. I'm, I'm only in the brain. For so long, yeah. humanity thought we'd find aliens out there. Yet after all these years, we found we were still alone in the universe. Turns out we were just not looking in the right place. Are you hitting on me, Rick? Mm -hmm. Best mm -hmm. be growing a tail before you bark up that tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Rick? Why did you call me here at this time? For one, because we're sending the generator home. Oh. Right. Before I was sent here, they told me they would limit the use of the portal as they couldn't afford to keep it open all the time. In order to keep in contact with us and to enable us to send things over to them, the portal would be open for just a quarter of an hour each day. Oh. Sending something back home wasn't really problematic for us since the high energy expenditure associated with sending bigger objects only affected the sender, not the receiver. Mm. Saucy. Mm -hmm. However... This also meant that until all business was concluded in regards to our trade with the PDAs and the generators, we were basically stuck here. Oh, think the dragons oh, would have guards. Mm -hmm. As for the other, do you know what this place is? You said something about trouble. How much danger are we in, really? More than enough. I'm afraid this whole place will be gone soon, and we better not be here when it happens. Wait, what? What are you talking about? What, are we on a Krypton? Yeah, right? Yeah, I know. What Just spit it out already? Yeah. <laughs> eh, not, not that. Yeah, like, what are you talking, <laughs> what are you talking about? about? I hoped you'd see it too, but then it took me a while to understand. And I had a head start on you, in any case. While he was speaking, my gaze wandered and fixed on some movement nearby. It was hard to make out anything, but I imagined it might have just been wind blowing through the nearby shrubbery. Except for the fact that there was no wind. Huh. It's probably a hot, sexy drag. Mm -hmm. a, little, a little shy at first, not wanting to make the first move. But maybe, maybe it picked out some nice lingerie for the occasion. A wonderful specimen. Crow gave us three bits. Dragon jock strap. 
I feel like my boy would scare any person trying to follow them away with their incredibly kinky nature. Ridiculous. What do you mean? Just imagining <laughs> fucking my boy's eyes just wandering away and he starts narrating all of this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and Rick's just silently staring. I'm like, really? <laughs> all right. Rick. This might take a while to explain, but we've got the whole oh, night. Sorry. Rick. Look. It's a dragon in lingerie. <laughs> it turned around to face whatever I was seeing. He squinted hard before he called out. You! How dare you follow me, even here? Oh, it's fucking me. The disturbance came closer until it became clear that it was Maverick, the fucking oh. sexy devil, who hey. had hidden nearby to listen to our conversation. How I long to hear the siren call of his sweet voice. Yo, what up? <laughs> what it do? What it do, my boy? <laughs> Y'all ever been fucked? <laughs> you ever been fucked by a dragon? A real big dragon? <laughs> Yo, what up? <laughs> God damn it. I knew you were up to no good. What were you talking about? What are you planning here? Some kind of attack? Disgusting humans. <sighs> Wait a minute. There's no reason for... We can still work things out, Maverick. Please, kiss me. We can go to couples therapy. We, we can make this work. <laughs> Don't try to deny it. I heard you both talking about it in the cafe. The cafe. In the, ca in the cafe. Thing. <laughs> in the cafe. Thing. In the cafe. <laughs> Goddamn. Uh, and I saw the letter. You think I couldn't smell the lemon on it? But <gasps> You'll have to come with me to the police station now. Both of you. Come on now. I think you're- Oh, oh shit! shit! Oh, no! <laughs> I mean, he did have the gun. What was he saying? Uh, police station. Yeah, oh, come with yeah. me, both of you. Yeah. You son of a bitch. Rick! Rick, what are you doing? Rick, put the gun away! Come on, my boy. Let's get out of here! Did, did he shoot him? In the I heard dragon's, a gunshot. Yeah, yeah. In the dragon's side, I could see the wound where the bird oh, penetrated no! his eye. A trickle of blood staining his beautiful dark scales <gasps> and the earth beneath. How I long to be that earth sucking up his tender juices. Oh, God. What <laughs> Rick, why have you done this? Rick used the opportunity to run in some direction. I wasn't sure which. <laughs> he's just running away and he's like, Serpentine! <laughs> Do it, my boy, Serpentine! <laughs> just see him run zigzag off into the distance. In like an open field, like no cover at all. Yeah. You just Fucking hear him off in the distance like, <laughs> yeah. Fucking trips over himself, gets back up. <laughs> also, sidebar, I love how upset this is making Buddy. Yo, right? Uh. Oh no, I'm upset. I just got fucking shot. <laughs> oh. I frantically scanned my surroundings looking for Rick, though he had already vanished into the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> His ninja serpentine moves were far beyond what the eye could follow. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Run away as well? Help Maverick? I was just a diplomat and had no idea what was happening. Karius gives us 100 bits and is like, oh my, an extra hole. We'll have to make good use of it. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's not fun for anyone. That's a bad time for everyone involved. <laughs> Suddenly, the dragon whipped around, hitting me in the gut with his thick tail. My thick tail? I was lifted off the ground briefly before I felt the impact of my body hitting the ground hard enough that my vision blurred almost immediately. It was Sa finally beginning. Sapphire gave us 100 bits. This game just went from a perfect 10 to a flawless 25. Yo, right? <laughs> a deafening Four. roar battered my ears. Four. What? Four. Oh, sorry, yeah. What did no, I I'm say? Just, no, I'm just saying roar. Oh, okay. that's, that's your roar? Yeah, roar. Sorry, I thought... That what did oh. I say? I thought yeah, I said roar. <laughs> am, I, am I losing my mind? <laughs> a deafening roar. No, roar. roar. Battered my ears. <laughs> Was his cry for help? Was this his cry for help? I could barely move, but I found it better not to try. 
as to not startle the wounded dragon more than he already was. God. It certainly would have ended badly for me if he tried anything. Why do you keep saying roar when you mean to say roar? Roar. Oh, no. Hey? I'm just lying here defenseless. Whatever do you plan to do, Maverick? Your hands immediately go back up to the nipples. Oh, my God. You're <laughs> still, still naked. naked. I heard him take a few extra steps before he lay down on the ground, panting. Oh, shit, it's happening. I'm still watching you, you know. You better not move for your own good. If I have to get up again and come after you in this condition, I can promise you I won't be nice. You like it rough, right, my boy? <laughs> oh, I assure you, you won't be coming after me. Oh, mm -hmm. shit! I'm already there. Uh, Damn, my boy knows what's up. <laughs> Remember, buddy, you wanted this. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think this was? What did you I feel just wanted like to look in the game. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, oh, my God. I think you've infected me, Carrie. Yo, I know, it's amazing. To men I didn't Menico, used to be this way. <laughs> Tomunico gave us 100 bits. I imagine everyone's like, how are you so thirsty at a time like this? And my boy's like, thirsty is my middle name. Yo, right? I got that power thirst. Mm -hmm. It took me, a, it took a few minutes of listening to his labored breathing before someone arrived. <gasps> it was two dragons. <laughs> All right. I can hear myself screaming distantly. The pain of my exposed asshole was intense. <laughs> <laughs> my my butthole lips puckered, <laughs> ready for them. <laughs> as soon as Sebastian showed up, I couldn't hold it. Open back. wide, they said. <laughs> no, no. Remember, none of the dragons are interested. No, oh, yeah, that was right. the butthole. It's the butthole. The talking. butthole. The butthole lips said, "Open wide." Yes, that's true. To themselves. Yes. Crowen gave us three bits and said, my boy is stiff as diamond right now. <laughs> you already know. Thank you. The first I recognized as Sebastian. The other one I didn't know. What about a new dragon boy? I heard Sebastian and Mavericks exchange a few words when the stocky fellow approached me. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, that's it's our police boy. sheriff. Boy! Buddy, you want to be the police chief? You want to be the entire police force? Yes. Do it. Do it. Okay. Hey, kid, you all right? Oh, hell yeah. I'm all right I'm now. Okay. Now that you're here, sexy stranger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, are you? It's Bryce! I'm yeah. Bryce. Oh. The chief of police in this town. Hell yeah. Can you tell me what happened? Hell yeah. Not sure. That's a shot Maverick and ran off. Maverick followed us here. Tried to apprehend us. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw a rick under the bus. Yeah, do it. Oh shit. Is that so? His face was stern and seemingly lost in thought. Perhaps of a lost love. Oh <laughs> One who I can never take the place of, but damned if I wasn't <laughs> going to try. <gasps> Dante gave us two bits and it was like, what is this game? What did I walk in on? I Don't mean, worry that's about it. Don't worry about no, it. It's Darius's dad. Oh, <laughs> oh no! shit! Now we need to fuck him. So that oh, Dar no. Are, oh, my God. Are we Darius's mom? As I overheard Sebastian's conversation. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but you're the flyer on duty. We probably won't find him now. Not here in the darkness, at any rate. Well, that's just brilliant. No, it's not. What are you talking? About? What do you think, Chief? <laughs> Sebastian, you need to learn what sarcasm is, okay? <laughs> My boy, can you walk? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll be walking straight for a while, if you know what I mean. No one touched you, get up. No, no. I, I don't know what you mean. And it's I don't... bullshit. <laughs> Touch me! One of you dragons just fucked me already! No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, Sebastian. No, take my boy. <laughs> All right. Sebastian, take my boy to the apartment. Uh, get us some help, help here for Maverick, and then we'll look for Rick. 
I'm in so right much on. pain. <laughs> Come on, my boy. I'll help you up. Oh no, I seem to have accidentally pulled you down onto the ground with me. How no, did this happen? Oh, look it at just ends up with like seven close proximity of our face. It just ends up with like seven dragons have just like picked you up and like throw you into the apartment like a human frisbee. They've just oh. carried you down the street cuz just like yeah, no, we he's he's too frisky. He's resisting. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop resisting arrest, <laughs> my boy. Come on, boy. Oh, my God. Just say it real quick. Yeah, that's a good call. That's a good call. Yes, yes. I can't believe Rick is a fucking asshole. Yo, what a <laughs> fucking butthole. Who knew? Mm -hmm. I was still shaken up by the events I just witnessed when I arrived at my apartment. Not knowing anything better to do, I soon fell into a deep slumber. Karis gave us 100 bits. Oh, a part of me is up already. Damn. <sighs> nice. <laughs> the next day, I awoke with many questions lingering in my head. Yeah. Had anyone taken advantage of me? How many had taken advantage of me? Did they have a good time? I hope they had a good time. Did I have a good time? Was I full of dragon semen? I wanted to be. I require their seed. I Are we constantly hunting seed in our streams now? <laughs> I don't know. We've gotten real gross in our old age. <laughs> Jory Ho has used two bits. Uh, so since apparently people don't like looking at me, if you need to know anything about this, just ask me. But seriously, uh, fuck Bryce. All right. Mm. Crow gave us six bits to say, so is it safe to say that my boy's ultimate goal is the biggest dragon orgy this side of the multiverse? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's see, I considered calling someone from the police department to ask about Rick and Maverick. But in the <laughs> but in the end, I decided against doing so, as I was sure they would contact me if they had anything to tell me. Sure. Also, I you now realized how difficult on Rick, so no. I was also now realizing how difficult their ship name would be to make. Oh yeah. Rick and Maverick? Rick. Maverick Rick? Yeah, people in chat were calling it Rick and Bigger Rick. That's fair. That's fair. Rick or Rick? Yes. yes. Rick or Rick. Rick squared? Mm -hmm. Rick Dick? Yes, perfect. I knew it was no use worrying about it for now, so I settled for starting another book. What the fuck? Things are happening. God fucking damn it. Stop reading books! <laughs> Yeah, a friend of mine pulled a gun and shot someone in front of me and then ran off into the night screaming. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to sit here and have some light reading. Back to Lara Croft. Didn't take very long, though, before the doorbell rang. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Did Bryce, the chief of police, take it upon himself to escort me today? Oh, what a good day. I uh, love that he has just like a tiny little policeman's badge. I know, it's so cute. Oh, it's you again, I said, erectening. Perfect. Uh, are you surprised? I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, I guess it'll mean bad news. Oh, shit. But it doesn't mean it can't still have a happy ending. Damn right. Right, so, how are you holding up? Better than usual, about half mass, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I'd like it if you'd hold me up a little bit. Maybe you can let's, get me the rest uh, of the way there. Mm -hmm. Let's go for a walk then, shall we? Ooh. Oh, a long walk. You like it outdoors, do you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. sure. <laughs> this idea you'd be rambling and then this whole thing just sounds like, sure, walk, the walk sounds nice. Yeah, it walks good, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> This time, I was taken along a different route than yesterday, and I was quite sure there was more than this, more to this than just a, taking a walk. Hell yeah. I'll just go ahead and guess you didn't find Rick. Fuck you, I'm a good police chief. Yeah, we, we hoped we would have come back on his own. He would have come back on his own by now. Do you have any idea where he might be? Maybe he mentioned some sort of place in particular that holds some meaning to him. Hmm. Certainly not inside Maverick. <laughs> That's for sure. He was very upset about it, and I couldn't understand why. He just doesn't understand what he has. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day he'll learn. 
Maybe one day they'll have what we have, right? <laughs> <laughs> Strokes uh, of the scaly face. <laughs> like what? Like like along his scar? Yeah. Oh my god, perfect. Single Such fucking finger just down the fucking scar. Such horrors you must have seen. Let me heal your broken wings. Oh my fucking god, <laughs> yes. Take I'll, his I'll broken wings <laughs> and learn to fly again. Learn to live so free. Anyway, it's just like not amused. <laughs> yeah. With that face the entire time, <laughs> fucking singing at him. Take his broken wings and learn, learn to fly, fly again. again. Learn, learn to live so free. free. Red would be very proud of this right she now. She would. What on point singing we just did. <laughs> God. I can only imagine if someone made like a fucking animation like Game like Game Grumps animated this stream. Oh my god. Oh boy. Fucking disgusting. Oh, there's some shit. material. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someone do it, please! Oh, <laughs> uh, we'd be naked the entire time. Yeah. No, not really. That was we our didn't, canon. Didn't get a chance to talk much at all yesterday before the incident. There's that too. Oh yeah, Karis points out with 100 bits, he doesn't even have wings. Chance to bone decreases. You alright? <laughs> Symbolic. The wings of his heart. Mm -hmm. We'll be his wings. I have no idea why Rick would have done anything like that. I had the impression that they weren't very fond of each other. But this... How is he, by the way? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> oh, oh, he's, he's like dead. super dead. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Maverick is doing fine. But there is plenty of blame to go around. You're right. They didn't particularly like, particularly like each other. In a statement, Maverick says he suspected Rick of planning some sort of attack. Do you know anything about that? Something very funny about the police chief being like, so yeah, you, you one of you guys pulled out a gun on the other dude. Kind of sounds like there's some animosity between them, you know, still puzzling it out. <laughs> I'm still, still figuring out that puzzle, putting I'm it together. I'm just picturing Maverick in the bed like, he shot a cop! Yo, right? What What do you mean you're kind of on his side too? Fucking fuck yeah, <laughs> he Man, shot it on him now! <laughs> <laughs> just Maverick just being very salty about the whole thing. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Look, <me>. Maverick! <laughs> You getting shot all the time. Yeah, you're uh, a lit your name's Maverick. You're literally the loose cannon on this force. And of course you would be the one to get shot. Yeah, man. One day from retirement. <laughs> no. What? I'm not I'm not retiring. Oh, <laughs> that's what you think. Oh shit. He only told me something was going to happen. Not that he was planning anything. At least that was the impression I got. Perhaps we could discuss it more over sex. Mmm, yes. No, no, not today. Pretty <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> tired. He's suspecting you too, by the way. You both planned this all from the beginning. Planned what? What? Yeah. I can assure you I only have the best Your of intentions. intentions. <laughs> oh my god. No, that wouldn't make any sense. How would I fuck the dragons if they're all dead? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Actually, none of this is making any sense. Why would we go through all the lengths of our agreement only to jeopardize it by doing something like this? You even already have our PDAs, and we don't have much to show for it yet. If we had any nefarious plans, this wouldn't have been a very good idea. Fucking Sapphire came to spinny bits. It's like, why does the sentiment of being someone's wing sound familiar? Looks at fanfic title. Oh yeah, I'm writing it. And no, Chad, it's not mega related. <laughs> <laughs> it's soup can related, and I love it. <laughs> oh. You have a good point. I believe you, but from our side, we only have Maverick's word on the whole matter. After all, he was the one who spent the most time with Rick since he arrived here. But even then, he didn't really have any reason to follow you yesterday. And his behavior was completely out of line. I'm just glad. Oh. oh, sorry. Okay. God damn it. Oh, shit. There you go. <laughs> I'm just glad you came out fine. If he wasn't on man, if he wasn't on mandatory sick leave, he would be suspended. Suspended right now. Yeah. We'll have to wait until this whole thing is over before we decide to decide what to do with him. I can assure you, with uh, I can assure you, this won't be taken lightly. Oh, Bryce, no. are you drunk? 
Don't worry about it. No, oh, don't the, worry about it's it. It's the AM, Brian. <laughs> uh, maybe they both acted in the heat of the It's moment. a PM somewhere. Can I understand <laughs> that? <laughs> Where I come from, there's kind of a tavern. I think that could be classified as a tavern. Don't oh, throw that you. idea out there. <laughs> you should kill Ray. Yo, right? Uh, heat of the moment? Yeah, heat of the yeah. moment. Telling me what you want me. Maybe. It was the heat of the moment. Heat of the moment. The heat of the moment shown in your eyes. Uh, maybe the wings are one of those metaphysical things. Maybe the wings were inside us the whole time. Thank you for the hundred bits, Fredo666. Thank you. The friends were the wings we made along the way. <laughs> um, That's right. Do we want to call it soon-ish? I know I'm getting pretty hungry, but what about you guys? That's I'm, I'm a bit, I, 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 I'm down for nibblies. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Call it about five o'clock. See if anything happens. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Yeah. We, we're still doing unlock, right? Yeah. So we'll still do that around the same time? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Well, also, remember, my boys, we're also doing freaking Twilight later today, so you know. Breaking mm -hmm. Dawn. <laughs> oh, Kill me. Oh, suck. Kill me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go, death. Still got quite a lot on our hands now, though. We have a wounded dragon and a missing human. Oh, no. This could lead to a diplomatic crisis. Mm. We'll have to come to some sort of arrangement. Maybe Rick will still show up soon, and we can and we can get all of this behind us. I'd rather like it if you got behind me. Oh damn! I don't get it. I hope so too. I really wouldn't want to jeopardize anything, everything over this unfortunate in incident. Damn! You must let me apologize for my for my colleague. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. How about we both just keep quiet about this whole thing for now? After all, I don't think any of us wants our people panicking about this already, right? Oh, no, I'm quite the screamer. Oh, yes. I merely <laughs> nodded in agreement. He knew what this was. I'd let him make the first move. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to sign bits. this NDA. Uh, Can you just... Oh, shit. Karis... Oh, Karis gave us another one. Can you just shove a cactus up my butt instead? Would be less painful. That's fair. Damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Eventually, we arrived at the police station, where the chief took my formal statement in regards to yesterday's events. None of this looks like it's built for dragons. No. No. He asked me about Rick and Maverick, too. Not that I knew much of anything that preceded yesterday's events, or the mysterious catastrophe Rick had mentioned. Mm. Afterwards, he thanked me and left my file left to file my statement while I sat by his table, okay. waiting and listening to the goings on in the small provincial town's mm. police department. Okay. <laughs> when he returned. He was approached by someone who seemed to have great uh, urgent news. A lot of talking between the two ensued that I couldn't make out from my position. This went on for a bit until Bryce finally returned to my arms. Sapphire the Dude gave 50 bits. I just realized it's been almost three hours, meaning that for one, I've been looking at Dragon Isekai for almost three hours, and two, we've om we're almost three hours in, we still haven't fucked a dragon. Not yes. for lack of oh, trying. It's a visual novel. The tone and shifted. <laughs> oh no, the music got bad. Oh no. Great, I have more bad news for you. Rick has now officially become a murder suspect. <gasps> Wait, is what? M is murder? Maverick okay? We're headed to the crime scene and hoped you'd come with us. Oh, I don't want to stop now. <laughs> a crime scene? <laughs> I don't really know much about forensics. Alright, I'm gonna need you to drop the fucking tone. <laughs> Yo, Rick, listen, are you still hitting on him? <laughs> I mean, it's wonderful, but my god, someone's dead. <laughs> oh, this is just a. I'm really, flattered, really, it's but. It's a fucking role play, you see. Uh, fucking role play. Roll for fucking. <laughs> oh, god. It's just that you're the, you're the only link to Rick we have. Consider what we hit. 
Uh, consider what we said would, would happen. But fully, fuck. Consider, consider that what we... Yeah. Consider what he said would happen to us. Oh. It's in all of our uh, interests that we find him as soon as possible. And if he is set... Oh, I can't fucking read, you apparently. Do Hold on. It. I have faith you. in you, my boy. The same and if he has anything to do with it, you might be able to help us find him. Your cooperation could uh, would certainly be appreciated. And it would be a nice gesture to show us that you're trustworthy in the eyes of those who might think otherwise after what happened yesterday. I will I help you. This. Help him. I will help, I help you. you. <clears throat> I suppose I don't really have much choice here, but you're right. We've got to find Rick, and if that's what it takes, I'll do it. Everything right. it takes. My boy only has two states of being horny and horny while asleep. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> and uh, Crow gave us six bits for that comment, but Deku is the best, bestest boy. Gave us two bits to say, I am but a poor man with only two bits to give. Take them. Take my soul. Oh, what a sweet yeah. heart. Much appreciated. Deku is the bestest boy. No, he's not. It's true. No, fucking dare you. Very well. Let's go then. I think you'll find that Kaminari might be a best boy. Kaminari <laughs> <laughs> is pretty good. Yeah, no, he's fucking not. Because he is. I don't wait to the crime scene. <laughs> he tried to prepare me for what I for what would come. I had studied biology, so I was familiar with the sight of dead animals. Asking myself how similar. It Asking myself how similar this would be, I wondered if my reaction would be any different if it wasn't a dragon, but a human corpse I would be seeing. Yeah, right. When we arrived, we were met by Sebastian, Hooray. who gave us an overdue, who overview. gave us an overview of the whole situation. Ben Rex died. Sorry. <laughs> Look at those beautiful, perfect boys. <clears throat> this morning, the victim was found by a delivery flyer for a restaurant. Blood loss from multiple wounds are the likely cause of death. Forensics was already here, so feel free to poke around. Oh. Oh, God. A few, p a few paces in front of us, the unfortunate victim lay on the ground, covered by a sheet that concealed the body, but not the large red stain beneath. We approached, while Sebastian went off to deter any curious onlookers. Megopie. And no, it won't be pretty. And said, Am I doing it oh. right? Yes, you no. are doing You're it right. You're doing it. Doing I'm it so, so proud right. of you. Go on, buddy, my boy. I, I know it won't be pretty, and I'm sorry for putting you through this, but you know, but you know what's at stake here. Just remember what I told you, and you should be fine. All right, I trust you. Are you ready? Just, Just do it. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. How sad. could this have happened? How could this happen, happen to, to him? him? <laughs> oh, no. He's made his mistakes. Oh, the poor dragon. What do you think? <laughs> He's fucking dead! <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> he's definitely dead! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rip. Holy <laughs> shit, Bryce. Rip. <laughs> rip a Rooney. Rip a Rooney, my boy. Rest, rip a Rooney, rest in spaghetti, man. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's just say this will be your be your test. And tell me what you can deduce from what you see. Give me your best shot. Oh. Wait, what? And now it's starting on Rome. Investigation start. Hell yeah. Two wings, two legs. Just how I like them. Damn. Just like the oh waitress in the cafe. Not how I like him. <laughs> About as big as a human, lengthwise, if not slightly taller. Mm -hmm. The wingspan would certainly look impressive at that side. Mm -hmm. not, to nice. not to mention his more prominent features. <laughs> his wings. <laughs> <laughs> his wings. Uh, I think you gotta oh, you could scroll possibly. around. The wounds are kind of hard to miss. I mean, yeah. True. Oh, sorry. True, but what are they telling you? They were infected with a sharp implement. The perpetrator <laughs> was an unusually large or small person who was already dead when he got these wounds. 
It was suicide. It was suicide. I mean, sharp sure. implement, yeah. They are clean cuts, like from a knife or other sharp instrument. That's true, but what does that matter? It actually doesn't. Dragons don't use knives. Couldn't have been Rick. They could have thrown it in someone's hands. It tells us that it was suicide. That's right. Only those of us who walk on two legs have the proper dexterity to wield the knife effectively. Most other dragons would probably just bite instead. Mm. Of course, this rules out most of the bigger dragons and flyers. But then, Rick still has his... What was it called again? His gun? gun? Yeah, you fucking idiot. Yeah, sure, that. If it was him, why would he kill someone with a knife rather than just use this gun on him? Uh, makes him look cooler. Makes him look cooler. <laughs> yeah, boy. Lost his gun. Doesn't want to make any noise. I mean, make he any wants. noise or waste okay. ammunition. He wouldn't because this was clearly a suicide. <laughs> He's really, really pushing that. the suicide. Oh my god. Probably didn't want to make, make any, any noise. noise. Yeah. He did not want to make any noise. After all, he ran away from Maverick, trying to hide from the police. Something as loud as a gunshot would have easily given away his position and alerted others to the area. Right. That could be a good reason. By the way, which do you think... Uh, which wound do you think was the lethal one? Maybe the one pouring out of him's yeah, fucking neck. Yeah, the one on his neck <laughs> that's yeah. bleeding a hell of a lot. God. I think it was the one on his neck. Maybe. I have no way of saying. I'm not good at forensics. <laughs> That's right. If all the blood from it wasn't wasn't a giveaway, this is a stab wound. Char uh, characterized by a rather small footprint. You can tell it's also the deepest one. And from the location, it's pretty obvious this must have been uh, must have done tremendous damage. What else do you see? Blind pool of blood. Well, there's a lot of blood. Yeah. Oh my god. He had AIDS. Jesus. Oh my god. He fuck? died here. What the fuck, game? This is blood. Uh, I think he, nah, he, died, he died here. here. He died here. Yeah, yeah. there's no. He committed blood. suicide. Yo, like, what the fuck? They're really about suicide, man. He died here. Else, there would have been a trail we could follow. The splatters also suggest this is where they fought. That's true. Fucking okay, like, for someone who's not good at forensics, you're doing a good job here, rookie. Okay? <laughs> I watch a lot of suicide. Unfortunately, it doesn't help with determining who, is the per who the perpetrator is. Objection! Oh my god. Excuse me. Sorry. S sorry, I just wanted to say that. Wow, what the fuck? Go on. Oh, game. No. Yeah, there aren't any clubs. What about the blood on his muzzle? You tell me. He's a vampire! vampire. He fought back. Ah! He had a stake earlier. He has gum disease. Oh my god. He bit his tongue during the fight. Probably well, he fought yeah, back. Yeah, they, they said he would bite, so. Yeah. Yeah. Might be the perpetrator's blood. Yeah, that is true. They expect forensics, al forensics already took a sample of it, so it might actually help us determine who the perpetrator is. Also, Karis donated 100 bits. Yeah. We went from Dragon Seduction to SCI Skyrim. It was a very weird boner, but it's still a boner. It's still, in fact, a boner. Scene crime investigation? You're right. Perfect. Scene crime mm -hmm. investigator. Yes. Crimes on the scene. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh mm. God, I'm just imagining I think about, he's I think that's about naked. everything. Full mast, fucking while investigating this. <laughs> like, and making the retire. Instead of like stroking his beard when he's thinking, he's just slowly masturbating. Yes. Mm. yes. <laughs> Who Stop are stroking you? your dick over the victim, please. Dragon, <laughs> dragon. God. <gasps> Investigation's over, no. Oh, he's so happy. You know what, kid? I'm impressed. Maybe we should have maybe we should have you around more often. I mean, it seemed really easy. Yeah. I feel like you could have done this. Oh. Investigator one. one. Nice. Achievement unlocked. Oh. 
Hey, Chief, do you still need the witness here for anything? Damn him. Sebastian approached with the dragon who had discovered the body earlier. I recognized her as Adine, the waitress from the cafe. I gave her a knowing snarl. <laughs> <laughs> spat in her general direction. <laughs> she seemed to take this as an invitation. Not one to read the room, that one. <laughs> Dumb as a stone. <laughs> like most females. Goddamn famales. She seemed distraught, which, given the situation, wasn't very surprising. I don't think so. Take her to the department, get her statement written up, and that should be it. Sure thing. Hi. All right. Uh, wrong voice. Uh. <laughs> All right, Miss. We're going to we're going to have to take you to the department. <laughs> oh wow, Sebastian almost went through oh. puberty for a second there. Of course. <laughs> when she spotted me, however, her composure brightened visibly. Oh, Shit. Damn it, she <laughs> likes me. Maybe, maybe she won't see me more if I don't move. They're, vis they're like Tyrannosauruses, right? Yes, yes. Like their vision is based on movement. Uh, Mega oh, Pie gave us seven it's bits. It's the human. <laughs> Shit. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> I have a name, you know. Straight up, go away. I mean, if we just want to be a fucking asshole. But if we say if we say go away, we might need to investigate yeah. her a little bit. Yeah. Well, I'm a human. I have a name, you know. Do it. Actually, I don't. You never told me it. You never thought to ask. Shut Rude. up. Shut up. You're stupid. <laughs> it's my boy. I feel like that's not your name. What are you How even doing dare here? You? Do you work for a police now? Yes. I guess, I guess so. so. Looks like it. Yeah. I guess so. So. That doesn't sound very convincing. You're not very convincing. What? <laughs> I think you're the killer. Lock her up. I wasn't even here. I don't know why I'm here, and I did it. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's like, as she's protesting, one of her hands comes up holding the knife. It's still covered in blood. She's like, no! No! <laughs> Foiled! Uh, I'm not quite convinced either. By the way... I didn't know you also did deliveries. He totally fucking suspects her. I do a little bit of everything, really. No, they said that it can't be a flyer. Mm. Again, because of the knife. Mm. Like, they, they... The manual dexterity required. Sebastian, on the other hand. Uh-huh. Mm. That's nice. I like my, uh, fish yesterday. You don't have to hide it. I know it's quite an acquired taste. That's one way to put it. To be fair, I wouldn't have recommended it to someone new like you, but you could always try something different. Here's our number if you don't want to come in and we'll deliver anything we have to you. Good, then maybe I'll never have to see you again. Damn. Well, I mean, I'm the one who delivers things, so you probably have to see me like a lot more. I mean, I guess I could just kill myself. Jesus Christ. That, 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 might be a, that might be a solution. Crow gave us six bits, so now the game involves dragon detectives, or dragon dicks, if you would. Mm -hmm. uh, Tominko Sorry. gave us 250 bits. Uh, I have become a god, and Karis gave us 100 bits. Okay, being legit for once, she is adorable, and I want to hug her. Aww. Yeah, she is adorable. <laughs> oh, shit, it's me. I was like, why isn't anyone talking? You're fucking... <laughs> Sorry, I guess we should get going. Bye! Fucking finally. Yeah, whenever it becomes, why isn't this person talking? And, you know, it's becoming, why isn't anyone talking? It's, oh, wait, no, it's probably it's, my it's turn. It's me. It's, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do now, Chief? I suppose we'll head off, too. Unless, oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what is no, it? no, no, no. Oh shit. <gasps> We've got a violent homicide, and of course, nobody from the department tells me. I have to find out from a neighbor who wanted to ask me about it. Good thing rumors travel fast, eh? 
Son of a bitch, Bryce. <laughs> of course nobody told you. You're on sick leave. Mandatory sick leave, I might add. I'm getting involved in this, Chief. You can't stop me. <laughs> I'll kill you. Oh, shit. All right, I mean, that might stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just remembering fucking me uh, MacGruber. Yeah. The game has changed, but the players are the same. Yo, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not here in any official capacity, you see. I'm merely enjoying a fucking curative walk in the fresh air and happen to come across you by accident. What do you want? To sell this crab! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want anything. I just find it interesting that no one tell told me about this, tells me about this. But the prime suspect's buddy can mess with the investigation. I see how it is. I mean, Maverick's I not him. entirely wrong. I love him. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you're thinking, but don't jump to conclusions here. Oh, I've already jumped to all the conclusions, Chief. <laughs> I, don't need, I don't need to jump to conclusions. I think the dead body we found says it all. God no damn. one's saying anything. You really have an attitude problem. You know, if you weren't on sick leave, you'd be suspended right now for attacking my boy yesterday. <laughs> yeah. uh, Do you even have any idea what kind of percussions that this could have on all of us? Me? Attack my boy? As far as I can see, I'm the only one who's injured here. Besides, I'm so sorry for apparently being the only one who's doing his damn job. We've already cleared that you weren't doing your job last night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Let's just let's just all sit idly by while the suspect's on the loose and planning his next move. He's probably coming after me. He doesn't like me. <laughs> God. He's not the only one, Maverick. <laughs> you know, whatever it is, whatever it was Rick was talking about, he was going to tell me just before you showed up yesterday. I don't need to hear you of all people belittling me about this. I mean, it's true. Shut up! <laughs> However, will you make it up to me, Maverick? You weird. What's your problem? You weird about everything. If anything, if anything, I want to find him just as much as you do. Thanks oh, I doubt it. He fucking shot me. Compare yourself to me. Your words mean nothing. God. Enough! You shouldn't even be here. So you better go now and get some rest before I have to take disciplinary action. Oh, what, you gonna spank me, Chief? You spank yes. me in yes. front of the human? Yeah, spank yes, him. <laughs> spank him, chief. I'll just uh, sit Don't on that really bench over me. in the back there. Fine. Grabs left ass cheek. <laughs> oh, chief, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. I'll meet you at home. Fine. <laughs> but when we find him, you'll see I was right. If I have to prove it myself, so be it. Hit me again, chief. Can he even just do his own investigation like that? That sounds no. probably illegal. Yeah, right? uh, thanks for the four bits. Falcon Film says uh, he wants that criminal human dick. Mm -hmm. And Jay Rigby gave us two bits. Do Dovakin dick. Board. Board. Hell yeah. <laughs> and Sapphire just gave us 100 bits. So my dad just walked in. The way I explained this was, so the boys are playing what was a dragon dating sim and the character uh, and the main character pulled a gun <laughs> and now it's a murder mystery he didn't question it he knows what you're about excellent <laughs> i love your family stuff <laughs> so, yeah that sounds like a thing they play yeah that's, that's fine okay. right. yeah, that's yeah, fine yeah, yeah. and a character sorry yeah. oh. well as long as he doesn't interfere with us we can't really stop him from doing things on his in his own free time i see I suspect he won't adhere to the standards of performing an unbiased investigation, though. He has already ma he's already made up his mind. It's clear to me he won't be he won't be looking for facts, just for evidence to support his own view in order to prove it to us for himself. Who knows? Who's to say? He's always been like that. Always something to prove. Uh, we'll have to be more careful. He'll be looking. He'll be looking for Rick soon enough. So is that like one of the few differences between our societies that they don't have anything like conflict of interest? I guess. I guess not. To be fair, I might be too. If I was shot, I'd tell if I would what he does. At least that means someone will find him, right? Oh shit. That's a tough call. Hmm. Hmm. 
To be fair, I might be too if I was shot. I mean, fair. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's exactly why we wouldn't be on this case even if he wasn't on sick leave. Son of a bitch. Don't worry. Rick will turn up eventually. I surely hope so. All things considered, I had to admit that it remained a possibility that Maverick was right. But could the Rick I knew really be a murderer? Oh, not a murderer. You know what? If you think of something that might help with the investigation, or if you need anything else, just call me. Oh, I won't hesitate. <gasps> Sapphire, my Please, boy, hesitate. Oh, Sapphire, my boy, we're gonna get to meet your dad at Soccer Con. I'm so excited. Oh, shit. <laughs> Well, I think we're done here. Let's go. Goddamn. Should we call it here? Probably. Yeah. Can you manually save? Excellent. Hey, yes. So this was weird. <laughs> we still You're didn't right. get that dragon dick. I mean, we as some, come back as, as probably coming back to as, this. As Chet pointed out, we did become dragon dicks, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Puns, but um, it's true. But um, oh shit. But um, we're neutral with everybody. Oh. Interesting. Mm. Mm. Right, we're still on the chapter the one. I'm surprised we're not like in the negatives with fucking Anna, because she was like, "Can I have your blood?" And we're like, "No." It says no! scenes played, so I guess this, I guess maybe nothing at the beginning really counts. Maybe. Like, giving you a chance to get settled yeah. before your choices actually matter. Maybe it all starts in, like, chapter two, and now all the characters are established. Yeah. yeah that's usually how, uh, how visual novels work, at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. y'all took well, time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Slightly, slightly shorter stream today, my boys, but that's just how it is sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll be back for Unlocked and then the Discord hang. Hey! For all the patron peeps. We're, it's gonna be a good time. Yeah, we're watching New Moon because Yay. we hate ourselves, I guess. We've we've had it it's too true, you do. for too long. We have. That's why we decided to go back to it because our last, like, what, three, four movies have been really good. Yeah. And we're like, damn it. Yeah, because wait. Because we did MacGruber last week, Teen Titans Go before that, uh, which again, Rock we're, of we're, Ages we're, before mm -hmm. that. And then freaking Hamlet uh, two. Oh, Hamlet two was there. Um, and fucking Santa Claus movie. Yeah, those um, were all so fucking good. So we this will be our first like outright terrible movie of the year. Yeah. Because like Teen Titans go to the movies. Think what you will about the show. Mm -hmm. See that movie. It's, it's so real good. Funny. It's really funny. I have been listening to songs from that movie non fucking stop, man. It's an up. It's an upbeat inspirational inspiration song about life. life. Oh, God. Let's go! It's so good. It's so weird listening to just the actual song where it doesn't end with, Oh, no, I think it's time to come up. Right! <laughs> it just finishes the uh, song. All right. Oh. Okay, my Thanks boys. for tuning in, everybody. We'll see you on Unlocked oh, and then later on the Discord. Hey! Who should we raid? Oh, yeah. Yes, who um, should we raid? Aaron? He's, he's streaming. <coughs> yeah, let's wait here. Is he? Live? Uh, yeah. Yep. It's live, Tony. We're gonna uh, raid Aaron, my boys, because he's such a good, good boy. Yeah, Do tell it. him something when he sent you. You tell him. Yeah. You tell and him. And you tell him to watch fucking Twilight New Moon with us oh. later today. Oh. You tell him. Why would you yeah. wish that upon Aaron? Because I love Aaron and I like spending yeah. time and we'll, with him. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in 45 minutes on Unlocked. Yeah, we'll see you soon. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Scream like dragon bye. Bye. Scream like dragon dicks at him in the chat. Yeah, yeah do it. Do it. Bye. Love you, bye. 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 What's the word? We love you. So much love. How about you? We're children. Look at all the love. Are you waiting for? How about you? All right, Jesus. <laughs>